Look at you, man. I see you sitting on the couch about to roll up that big old ball of nasty ass, sticky ass, stimmy ass street bow. Ugh, that shit is weak. Watching Maury Povis. Hey, which bring me the thought. Bitch, I'm not the father. Angie, Tammy, Renee, Felicia, me, Michelle, and a little bitch, uh, Fifi, stay on 59, bitch. I'm not, I wore a rubber that night. Everest College is accredited by the West Coast Commission of Non Accredited Schools. You can learn anything. They got courses in whatever you want to know criminology, plumbing, dope chopping dope cooking, weed transporting, anything. Even if you want to go on the other side of the law, you can learn some shit. Hey, what's that shit like when you like a junior lawyer? Legal. You mean paralegal? Yeah. Oh, smart ass community college nigga like that. Don't you want to do something with your life? All you do is smoke Strebo all day. You don't take care of your kids, nigga. Bitch, you strip all night. I'm studying gynecology. Yes, ladies, I specialize in ovarian observations. And your boy do free pap smears and mammograms on the 1st and 15th. Enrolling in Everest, up my pimp game 2,000%, nigga. There's some cool bitches at this motherfucker, and check this out. They all got low self-esteem. You got cool ass black bras, busted down snow bunnies, white stringy hair, dog smelling bitches and shit. You got some motherfucking cool Cool ass Latinas with nice asses and lips and titties is ready to fuck. Me amo el verga de puro. Yo tengo más grande verga de todos. You remember that bad light skinned bitch Sierra from the commercial? The one that kind of looked like Felicia Keys? <laughs> Your boy fuck that bitch, nigga. <laughs> nigga, trill shit, I ain't lying. Skeeted her up, nigga, all over her face. Nigga, I was dropping bowls in that hole. Like, mwah, mwah, throw them bowls. And if your bread ain't right, don't even trip. Cause Everest College accepts all forms of payment for your tuition, nigga. Real shit, nigga. Wick, EBT, food stamps. My nigga, if you really about your grinding, if you really about your paper, my nigga, you can get your motherfucking bachelor's degree in three months, nigga. You too can aspire to make minimum wage one day, pimping. Fuck the University of Phoenix, nigga. I'm down with Everest, nigga. Everest, nigga. Everest, nigga. Eric, Arizona Juggalos Podcast with your host, Taco Tetsujin and the Oddfellas. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Arizona Juggalos Podcast. It's me, Taco Tetsujin, and I'm with Spooky Z and Dynasty. What's up, Holmes? Yo. And today we have, as our special guest, the Greenhouse Project. How you doing, guys? Not too bad. It's going. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. good, man. Pretty good. How y'all doing? Good, good, man. Thanks for being here. If I could get y'all go down the line and introduce yourselves to everybody. My name is Buds Backus. Yeah, my name is Kali G. And I'm, uh, I'm Nibot. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm Spooky Z. <laughs> and I'm Taco. What's up, Taco? And we got Remy Rad in the booth. Yo, yo. He actually sounds decent today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a red letter day, man. I'm telling you, if we get through this and I hear it and we actually hear everybody and I don't have to come back to you, <laughs> it's going to be a red letter week. Awesome. I thought red letters were bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, red letters are good. Oh, okay. Letters of murder. Right. So tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Um... All right, that's enough. So, <laughs> that was very interesting. I mean, that's pretty much all I got, but no. um, I don't know. How'd just you guys started, get started? We started, uh, we just happened upon like an eight track hard disk like, recorder. Oh, yeah, BG, man, and Brian. Of our, one of our friends got it as a present. He right was on. going away to, to college. He wasn't going to use it. Yeah. So he let us borrow it, and we just started rapping. That was like 2010, like right after we graduated high school. Wow. They're like, fuck it, bro. We got this equipment. Let's fucking become rappers. Yeah, he, he let us use it only if we had named our collective after him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he, Brian's our homeboy, man. So we named it a Obesity was our first collective. It was like five yeah. of us. And just like OBCD. 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 Yeah, like yeah. an acronym, but it didn't stand for anything. He'd always be brilliant. at the lunch tables and shit, just dropping rhymes about toasters and PBJs. <laughs> it's not, it's not like you can do a track with these guys. They, they're the buffet yeah. boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we right. were like the uh, free beer. That was like our other crew name that we had. That was our first little mixtape we did was the free beer tape. That's tight. That's tight. <laughs> Free beer, that like that's that catchy. everyone gets laid. That's catchy. Yeah, from that PCU, kind of that kind of shit. <laughs> I don't know. Our, our mindset was with it. If you saw our name, like on the marquee, you know, it'd be like free right. beer free, tonight. Right, right. That's right. what I was. Yeah, yeah I, no, it. I got that. PC, yeah. In PCU, they did that every, tonight at the at the quad. Yeah, everyone everybody gets, gets laid. laid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. 
Yeah. That's a good movie. If anybody hadn't seen PCU, it's old, but it's good. You know, speaking of that movie, I uh, I one time tweeted that I use Jeremy Piven as my fake name when I do prank calls. <laughs> and, and Jeremy Piven retweeted it and responded to me. He was like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be happy about that or upset. <laughs> It was, it was pretty funny. And then, like, for the rest of the evening, all of his, you know, shithead fans were like, you're a jerk. Oh. Uh, and? and it's the internet. The internet's no, well, terrible. Well, I said that, like, when I use, when I do prank calls, I use the name Jeremy Piven, and nobody ever knows. Yeah, Like, yeah. nobody ever's like, oh, that's an actor. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. the, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that both you and I, like, were, were huge fans of 4chan back in the day, I think that we, that might affect us, that kind of garbage. But, like, it's the Internet. The Internet's full of garbage. Yeah. That's yeah. all it is. That's where garbage goes now, from landfills to the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> series of tubes. <laughs> well, not our trash this week. <laughs> <laughs> you forget one week to put out the trash, and you hear about it three fucking times. Yeah, you're going to hear about it six more times before the fucking week's Fuck up. That. I'm going to miss next week. <laughs> God damn it. I guess I'm putting trash out. Let it fucking pile. <laughs> Like, God damn it, Live mom! God damn you, mom! Can. Get my trash. There goes the name. Everybody gets laid. Yeah. That one. yeah. It's a secret, Tonight at my mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, going forward from that, what got you guys to this point here? Because we, um, we did a show with you, the, yeah. the Whitney Payton show. Basically, it was just a lot of really spaced out shows. Yeah. Like it, over a lot of time, then we would play. We were doing a lot of stuff through Universal Music. Yeah. So we were like, we were we were already helping him like throw flyers out and shit like that. Right on. Oh, yeah, little promotional efforts and yeah, stuff. So then eventually our, our buddy Hayden talked him into letting us play for a show, and then we had to sell tickets for that. Sure. And then we ended up bringing a shit ton of people, rocked it, rocked it out pretty good, and then just left. Everybody left right after that, and the venue was empty. Yeah. Yeah, so. it was funny, like, back, yeah. in, back in that time, like, I would go to the shows, like, because, like, they were my boys, and, like, I knew a lot of the same people, and, like, it just blew me away, like, the back in the day, like, the yeah. shows, like, were, like, fucking, all the all the people that we could get out were there, like, there was yeah, a ton of people. we used to just go nuts, dude. We, we talk about that a lot, how, like, the big act, the act that, that everybody actually, you know, apparently came to see, yeah. you know what I'm saying, plays, and then everybody after that, up to the main act, gets shit on. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Whitney Payton happen. was playing in front yeah. of, I just started like, staying at 35, shows 50 after, people. Because I was right. old enough to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, we got to re- recreate the way the slot is, because they, they think of, you know, the main, main, the headliner on top, the last act. But I'm like, you got to, we got to call it like the mid, the mid time, prime time headliner slot right. or something. I mean, especially for these acts that are that are awesome and they're worth it, but they're they're playing in front of small well, these crowds guys are because, all, all you, because all they still are a bit make, unknown. Is yeah. You just make whoever sold the most tickets the headliner. You give them the headliner spots. So right. Their fans. Yeah, but still, but they, but 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 they don't stay for the but entire show most of the time. And, so, if and, and being one of those and them. being one of those acts that have to be at the end. You know, you, yeah. you know what I hear from my fans, my fans all day, my guests all day. Hey, man, when you going on? Yeah. When you going on, and then when you yeah. tell them at the end, they're like, most of the time you get a whole bunch of, hey man, thanks for everything. We're not gonna be able to hang out to yeah, the end yeah. and catch you, and then they yeah. leave. Then that makes them not be able to have a super dope crowd right. next time because they just disappointed so many people. I, I mean, I, I, I feel what you're saying, but if you're gonna co-headline, co-headline right after ten o'clock, right. put your headliner on at 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 the nine thirty, ten o'clock. Put them on at ten o'clock. Yeah. They're playing in front of a dope crowd, and then, you know, slap the people that you know. Like, if y'all brought, let's say y'all brought 100 or a couple hundred people, we put you right on after the headliner. Not any any disrespect, but actually to help the headliner out. So hopefully the next time the headliner comes out again, they, 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 don't, need that, the they, don't, they don't need that slot. You know, but see, a lot of these artists are big-headed, and they're like, well, put me on end because I'm a headliner. Man, I ain't uh-huh. big-headed. I'll go out to another state and play in the middle of your show because right. guess what? I'm going to get as many fans as I can get out of that show because yeah. you're going to have groups like you like you said that are... Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're pulling hit and, in... Hit and, hit and if you're pulling in most of the crowd and you don't at least play right before the headliner... But that's also up to the promoters, and that's that whole thing about, you know, everybody working together because if there's... You know, communications and there's stuff like that. The you, real can, problem you can tell those those uh, drawing acts to stay with you or say, play after the, the headline. When you say people 
can't wait until later. There's a real hard situation there because you can't you can't open the doors at like three four nope. in the nope. afternoon nope. and start at five six. You can't do that because nobody's well. Nobody. Everybody's I, getting OG ready to OG's go. OG music. They ended at twelve. Because they had to, but still though, to me that's that's good. Yep, that's yeah. good. If, yeah. you, if you keep your shows in a small block right there, and they all you do is go and knock out six. a good show, you know they didn't cut anybody either, which nope. was pretty impressive. No, it was a good show. It everybody, was it was a good show, but in. just like every show we talk about, the headliner that people actually that the promoter paid for, yeah. you know they're getting paid. They're most of the time they don't care, but some of them do care because what's they, the use of having a headliner when you just have that that one guy sell tickets and be the headliner? And then put a bunch of people under it because him. they're selling they're that they're days. selling the headliner to that one guy, and that one guy's going, "I'm gonna get my name on my picture on a flyer with that person." That's what they're buying. But the truth of the matter is, is they're apparently pulling more people. Well, apparently, than even the headliner. Apparently, is. but like I said, they got to get sold on something. Yeah, and everything's always last minute too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they get sold on being the headliner. <laughs> That's so true. They can be getting sold on being the headliner. Yeah, I guess. Like whoever sells the most tickets is the headliner. I guess, man. You know what I'm saying? And then that way everybody sticks around until the last fucking act, at least. True. Well, it takes, like I said, communication through the promoter and the acts and the it's venue. It's a lot of work. We did it, though. Because you got you to gotta do a couple shows with a couple people to even find out who's drawing. No, I know. It's a process. Well, it's a process. It. So we've been doing that. It's a process. Yeah, like, we've, we've been doing wow. All those shows that we were doing, Yeah. in the beginning, we were like the first people to play. Yeah, mm-hmm. just like open it up. Have you know, mm-hmm. group, like a huge group of people. Yeah, there's no normal. And as soon as you guys would get done, you, your crowd would still leave? Yeah, we, we. I mean, we would leave. Some of them, like my parents would go, and like my older brothers and mm-hmm. shit. That's a little would, understandable. They would stay yeah. watch and stuff, but yeah. I would go out and like go drink. And Enjoy go yourself. Party and Enjoy shit. yourself, yeah. yeah. But now, I'm old enough, I'm all old enough to stay, so I just stay there and drink. That's what's yeah, up. Go home afterwards. See, there's yeah. got to be a. They they talk about you know like unify and respect the underground and stuff like that. It's got to be more like stay at the show kind of movement. You know, like stay stay in party movement. Yeah, you know, yeah. don't just yeah. watch my show. You know, right. don't just watch yeah, your. And that's, and there's that's got to be some thing. type of. I wanted to keep people there because yeah. there was a headliner. I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah all, you just people. you just make that known when you're selling the tickets. Like, hey, yo, you know, stick around after my set. Catch everybody that's there. You know, we're trying. How would you to, feel as an? How would you build. feel as an as an act though that brings that brings a crowd? How would you feel if an art, if a promoter came at you and said, "Yo, check this out. I'm bringing a a, a, a person that I believe is you know going to draw or, or somebody. You might like him, and then you go, oh, yeah, I like that person. I respect that person. I want to do a track with that person.' And, you know, and then they go, well, I want to put them on at you know nine o'clock, ten o'clock because we know you bring 100, 200 people and we want them in front of your crowd. We don't want that person playing in front of 50 people. Would you yeah. respect that and be like right on? Would you would you say put us on both at nine, ten o'clock, or would you say, no, go ahead and throw me on after the headliner at 12 o'clock? But if you have to do that, uh, what would you, you prefer? Money on right it. before I mean, would probably. The the to prime time right you yeah, would want you want to want the, the the prime time slot so the, so you would be happy if we said well we're gonna throw the headliner right before you give you both prime time slots you're the you're the drawing act and we need to get people to see this headliner yeah. would that work for you guys I, I wouldn't mind that's that's generally that. generally and that's what I'm saying and that's what I try to say and if you even have a main act though but yeah but, but still but no but yeah but you're only act. doing that a few times because you got to have a system where you're allowing these these main acts that don't have a following here to gain a following. And once they gain a following, almost like graduating, here's the, here's the hopefully other. it's after a couple shows or two, three shows that they can actually say, you know, okay, I don't need a, you don't, a, you don't a, need to be act. prime time slot no more. You can actually here's take the, it to 12 o'clock and run your own show. Here's the yeah. other really mm-hmm. big part of that um, is that, you know, I know for us, we booked Killa how many times? Mm-hmm. And then because he saw... You know, when we would perform right after him or right before him, he would stick around to see our set. You yeah. were almost guaranteed for your set to be seen by the headliner. 
And that headliner, I mean, that's how we got our first tour mm -hmm. was because w – with Killa was because Killa was like, damn, y'all are dope. I like watching you guys. Well, no, we brought him to the – the way we got our first tours is because I had the Monster Shop. And right. I built, I built a relationship, and I actually was one of – I was one of the first ones who brought Killa around when he first got dropped mm -hmm. from Psychopathic, and everybody was like, oh, shit, stay away from that guy. I embraced him. We, you know, and the whole Head Hurts family, and we but, embrace. But them, you that's, can't, that's you can't deny. From. I mean, it, and that's, and that's a hundred percent. I hear what you're saying, though. It, there, you can't deny that he, he. If I think we that's sucked. A, if that's we a dream. Shit, I think that's a dream every artist has. I think we all have that dream. I hope the headliner stop. sees us right. and we get picked when, up. You know, and when you, <laughs> and when you <laughs> position. A lot of the times they don't, line. though. A lot of the times they don't. They're in there, especially if they're dope. Especially if they got big heads, they're in their dressing rooms. I think they played right after, like right after them. Possibility, mm -hmm. you got a better Jesus possibility. Because they might not go straight back. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you're a national act, though, what's that? After headline, there's no point. <laughs> even if it's at prime time. Yes. Even if it's at prime time. Prime time is what, what like twelve thirty, one o'clock. No. No. Prime, okay, if the doors open at say six o'clock, prime time. Is you give everybody an hour place. hour to kind of just get there. The show starts at 7 o'clock. I mean, it has to start at 7 o'clock. And even then, you got to understand, I got fr friends and family members that tell me I can't get to, I, can, I don't get out of work till 6. takes yeah. an hour or two to get dressed. I won't be there till 8 or 9. So prime time and when everybody's pulling up is 9, 10 o'clock. Yep. So if you put on an act at about 10 o'clock, the, the headliner at 10 o'clock, and then put on the, the drawing act right after them, You'll have a dope ass show. Now it might trickle towards twelve o'clock and the people that didn't bring, but hopefully you can bring two drawers and say, Okay, one of you guys guys kinda play the end or closer towards the end. But if you end at twelve o'clock, nobody's playing at midnight and by then, you know, everybody's ready to either leave or go somewhere else to party or hang out there for an hour or two and, and drink it up with whoever's there. Yep. I think it's hard I think it would be hard to talk a headliner that was doing well. Uh, everywhere else but here into doing that I'd and be, at that point yeah it, it would be hard it would be hard because of their egos but that's the whole point man if we're at that honest, point why even have a headliner if, if you have a person that is bringing a huge enough crowd to where you don't need a headliner why don't make you make enough noise to make those people come and see you it's it would be nice i already told you why though nobody's done it yeah here. nobody's done it here we actually we actually tried you OG know. Music's done it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they do like, it. But not not like where there's hundreds and hundreds of people just right. there to come out for it. But there's still a huge, I, st I feel like, a big a big group of yeah. people. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we never really draw a whole lot. I mean, it's like 20, 20 to 30 people, but right. it's small. If we're, we don't have much of a following or anything like that. At a small For a small group, I mean, that's pretty good for... So there's gonna be other people there that right. there's 30 people it's, it's there that mental thing of, of someone coming from out of state that's what it is it's oh my god they're from they're not from here they gotta be famous they gotta be cooler than us and that's then they cool. don't pull shit but yeah because you know it, well if you listen to their music watch their videos you will probably become a fan but you know bro I, I brought you, you everybody a fan of tech nine everybody know who tech nine is yeah, yeah. well check this out you know about 10 years ago maybe more maybe less uh we i, I brought them out here and um I, I mean, I just, dude was still a dope dude back then. He didn't change. You know, he's only gotten better. And I would be like, yo, man, I'm bringing out Tech 9 and I got this show. And people would be like, who? who's Tech 9? What? Yeah. But <laughs> but that's who it, that's how it is back then. And like I said, you can't the Tech 9, you know, he, he was a dope dude. But like I said, if you can get some of these people that are not in a sense, not saying he's big headed, but it, big headed enough to say, I understand that the last time I played there, or the possibility I only of got to play I two, people. two people, I will legit say that Tech Nine is obviously, in my opinion, an exception. That guy has has always been cool. Yeah, he's like taken over. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, he's yeah, been yeah. taking over yeah, now. Yeah, bro, but I'm he's telling always you, been cool. Yeah, bro, like, but he didn't always have he didn't always have a hundred thousand or a million fans, bro. He didn't. Yeah. At one point, he had a hundred or a thousand, and guess what? It was just me and a handful of other guys. Dude's tech, whenever he sees sees Nasty at the gathering, comes to Nasty. And fucking sometimes nasty sees him, but sometimes he sees nasty, and they or shake spooky hands. sees him and sends yeah, him over, and they chop it up and yep. stuff like that. And he's always been cool, so I th I see Tech Nine as kind of an exception to the rule, just because yeah, but that's he now. doesn't have an ego. That's no, you know, I'm not saying he has an ego. I'm saying at one point he wasn't as right. big as he was, and people didn't know him. And right. I'm saying, and that is every act you know that does mm -hmm. play in front of twenty, thirty people here. 
You know, it's not that they don't have the potential or the backing from a record yes, label. Yes, but at that something. point, you've got the chance to make your own star and whoever is pulling in that crowd. I mean, okay, I don't know, but it seems like in wrestling, whoever pulls the bigger <laughs> crowd winds up becoming the star, getting the belt. Yeah. 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 I don't see how it's any different <laughs> for music. They come in all badass. They got the dope. Music. If the local guy is bigger Explosion. than the guy that comes, and now in wrestling that does happen, where the this big pool will come and he'll put the the other guy over because he's got a bigger following in that area. But that's but wrestling, and I know they can work the same. Happen but that's wrestling, and this is and this is music entertainment on At stage. At that point, just, I wouldn't. It's, 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 just, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's all entertainment. It tra- a lot of this stuff translates right. It does. It does. But what I'm saying is, is their form, their format works for their format. It just so happens. Yes, it, just music, so, it just it just it just so happens they I got a med- they got a medium or media where they can go ahead and create superstars. Yeah, we do have the same format, but you just said it. We're barely doing it. Our, we're barely if I can getting save, into it ourselves. If I can save five hundred to a thousand dollars, not booking a headline and know that I'm going to get three hundred to four hundred dollars out of this guy that I'm going to put as the headliner. Why wouldn't I do that? How and then? Why how would much, I not? How, how much? How much more sports like, spectacular you would it be? Well you you, you yeah. got, but see, it's 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 what you're doing. You're building your local That's scene. You're building economics. your local scene. But at the same time, wouldn't it be nice to also build a, a, a roster of people that are up and comers? I mean, you'll get the same. You would get a better dollar for them, especially because they're like. I think a lot of these cats come in. The ones that do pull big. I think a lot, a lot of those cats come in. They just fucking here's pull here's shine. what it boils down to. It boils like down when, to we, when there are no more local any, shows. Of, any of them that there are, are real no businesses. More strictly There's local plenty of shows. local shows. No, what I'm saying is there are plenty of shows with national acts and local support, but there are very few just local. That's shows. That's not true. No, they're there. I, the, I there's that, there's local that shows one. at Joe's Grotto all the time. Right. But but in in the hip hop community, in our community, the underground community, it doesn't happen often. It, it happens it happens every other week here. I, I guess I just don't. They're, just then they're slipping on promoting. Yeah, I've seen promotion's it. Yeah. been slacking. Yeah, like, and some some lot. of them, yeah. Like, cause no, like every I mean, everyone's always doing different shit. So like. People like up in Fe- North Phoenix or Scottsdale or wherever the fuck they are. Like, yeah. No one hears about other shit, you know. So everyone's always just doing their little, their own little. That's thing why they should hire Poo Boo Productions <laughs> for for all your promotional needs. That's Poo Boo Productions dot com. Little cheap plug. Yeah. So what shows do you guys got coming up? Um, right now, the only one we have is. That Baja Joe's yeah. on the 9th. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a little free show. You Who's know? the headliner on that? We're the headliner. Yeah. So it is kind of like you what go. you guys are talking about. There you go. Yeah, I don't even but know who else it's, a, it's a free show, I'm pretty sure. Um, right on. Johnny's always uh, hard to get details out of. <laughs> yeah, like Thursday night hip-hop nights there or something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's yeah. always shows there on Thursday. We've been meaning to get over there, too. At least. Why'd you guys play the Whitney Payton show? Because we wanted so we to play just, just, like just for the <laughs> sake of the show. Yeah. So you were taking it for any for anything then? Yeah, because it was supposed to be Mad Child and Whitney Payton, and then it got cut yeah. off, and then I was yeah. like, I don't give a And there's more people like well, that. Well, when it was Mad Child, when it was Mad Child, at the same time, did you have, did you, did you, were you excited at all that it was Mad Child when you, when it was first Mad Child? Because I know I was first. I was stoked. And yeah. Whitney Payton, and Payton always comes out here. She's cool. Like, so. I was pretty stoked. <laughs> you know, I was just stoked to play a show because I. What uh, happened? He couldn't get like his show. visa to come down here or yeah, something like that. Yeah, he couldn't get his work visa in time. He said he didn't have like the paperwork or something like that even. So that's crazy. That happens. Yeah. He's I mean, supposed to come in the summer. Still went on. Yeah. Yeah. From what I understand, he's gonna come in the summer. So uh, yeah, cool. Right on. And there's, uh, we we need to get over there on Thursdays. One of these days. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a break. Uh, we're gonna play some of these guys' music, and we'll be right back after these couple songs. Yeah. Call G and Buzz Backus. Plantron. Just grow what you please, cause plants grow too high to fold in the breeze. So plant, 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 plant what you need. Don't plant too much, just grow with the 
breeze Cause plants go too wide It fold in the breeze So plant, 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 plant Plant what you need Don't plant too much Just grow what you please Cause plants grow too wide Too wide Plant, the most beautiful is thought Inside of closed minds or eyes in the dark I've been digging in the dirt, giving life to the earth Enlightening the masses, lighting greener grasses Past chem class, turn flowers to waxes Power to rotate the earth off its axis Ask an atlas to pass the rock Stash these grams of hash in my sock Sounds of brass, 88 keys Came in low and then arrived with a breeze Symphony so sweet you fall to your knees Fred Flintstone, bed rock with the weeds Take away the trees, I'll react as the earth Mad room to breathe, your lungs don't work Plant life, keep life circulating Entertain brain with a painting of a rainy day Opposite feeling of what you're dealing with Rise, making a melody, I'ma memorize Dodging the felony with a DUI Me and my brothers, we gonna be alright Night moves, getting in the groove with the right tunes Might choose you, flesh pumps with the cute boobs Known to keep it nice, but I be a little rude too Boom with clock, rude boy My homeboy's roots run deep in the desert waste Bro, what you want if you can inside my waist? If I can't be what you wanted to do I be the hundredth motherfucker just a step to the loop I let loose when I'm up in the booth I spit truth to the regular goons who break news At the crack of the boom who backpacking to move The cat's ass backwards but he's back in his roots So now the only thing he lacks is an act of commute Black Cadillacs get trapped in his view Give me the fresh axe and pack the dudes And now the only thing he needs is the raft and a brood To kick back, relax, get back to the roots Cause living the lake life is actual proof That the radical boom bap is driven from the kid In the back with his lip shaft, the rip rap chit chat Spinning the shit back, the syntax dope But whatever he gets that I'm working at 10 to 6, coming home smelling like shit My beard done really, my nails unclipped Man, fuck that shit, I'll be living in the sand Living like the Man, you don't even know this some real shit Real shit, you never know the feeling when you feel this Yeah, we the dopest, like smoking the cleanest We rise from the earth, rebirth like the phoenix We burn words like a motherfucking genius May you really mean this? Yeah, we the dopest, like smoking the cleanest Open and seen it Flow in the breeze Hopping on the track like another fat Jesus Oh no, please just Drop another track, put back with the weed We Some fucking schmuck, some fucking cement shoes over here over there. Cause he owes us some fucking money, that two time a prick. Uh, Fat Pony over here, he's fucking pissed cause Johnny Two Thumbs fucking stiffed him on a fucking deal. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, Buzz Max Miles make a fine strong bully. That's all I gotta say. You're never ready to drop cash crop I know you stamped out robots Say I'm far from being lyrical and I'm sure not Self-proclaimed fame ain't the same as all the rappers The money's all I need, fam, the fame don't matter And I'm not copping either I'm just writing in my room trying to drop a fucking ether We the type of cats that smoke joints under bleachers Talk shit to teachers and beat your ass up Pretty heavy drinkers always late to wake up I send me deep, 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 deep right what I make up Gone with a sweetie, set a face for the makeup Pass me the sweetie, then I grab it and take puff I smoke, but it ain't enough That's why the bloke rough and act as if time's tough An activist for rapping shit to work out the woodwork Relieve the pressure, it's no pressure I'm just saying it would work, word Now take that word and fuck what you heard And then maybe break off and stop running with the pack The breakdown fuck with the style down pat The shoes all scuffed and there's dust on the hat Scruff on his face and his teeth all capped Almighty butt smack, smack thorns in your back Rapping with a bag of chips, shoulders in a blue sack Oh shit, I shouldn't have said that
Mr. Moonwalker steady talking up a storm Popping off with proper form but dropping off to break the norm Nonchalantly off the course of holding up the world Just to take it all by force because I'm born As a thorn deep in your side Speak with a peace that'll free your mind Deep like I jump from the free throw line Speech with a free flow rhyme I keep with the ink in the sheet that leaks out knowledge over time Time, 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 I'm Looking through the window to peek at the sunrise I think that the people are thinking I'm too high Cause I'm looking out the window to peek at the sunrise I blink cause the people are making me think twice I'm looking out the window to peek at the sunrise I think that the people are thinking I'm too high Cause I'm looking out the window to peek at the sunrise I blink cause the people are making me think twice Cause I'm looking out the window to peek at the sunrise Shudder like eyes when I look at the light I think that I dove too deep in the rise Smoke too many things to believe that I'm high Can't cope with the feelings that'll keep me alive So I'm looking out the window to peek at the sunrise just like that yeah Bing. can you hear us remy oh, yeah. can you hear us remy can you hear us remy can you hear us remy? <laughs> <laughs> tell them worry about yourself Worry about yourself. How do I sound? Worry about yourself. Uh, He's like yeah. so. The next so the next episode of the podcast is just Remy because he just worried about himself. Yeah, he yeah. mutes all the other mics. <laughs> He's all like, do 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 do. You just hear him fart. <laughs> <and shit>. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this snooker video. Oh, we're back. I watched this snooker video. I don't watch snooker. Snickers. Snooker. 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 Snickers. No snooker. Sneakers? I watched this snooker video. Where this guy was trying to concentrate Hookers? on his shot, and this guy in the crowd like farted, <laughs> and you can fucking hear it too. And it wasn't fake either. It was like he farted, and then like everybody laughed and they calmed down, and then he did it again, and they kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she was a she was a big star when when Jersey Shore was out, so I don't not Snooky <laughs> Snooker the game. Oh, <laughs> dude, I thought you were talking about well, Snooky too. I, knew what he was saying. I thought it was like the gang bang. They lined. <laughs> What kind of fart was it? <laughs> I know about that snooker. Was what kind of fart was it? It was very basic. It was like... <laughs> like a cat? Yeah. Like a cat. Uh, <laughs> like, like a fat cat. I guess they didn't, have cush- <laughs> they didn't have cushion on their chairs. It probably was like a hard chair. So that like echo. plastic. <laughs> 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 Fucking fart acoustics. That's awesome. We're here talking about fart acoustics on the Arizona Juggles podcast. The best is the one where you're sitting down. And it just like slides up the crack of your ass. You know, what I, you guys know what I'm talking about. Where you're like, you're, you're trying to let it out slow, and you're like, man, please don't make a noise. And it's just like, what's fucked up? <laughs> it's in my head. I see it like I see water traveling up. The like crack. I see water underwater, like the bubbles. The bubbles. <laughs> like that's how it feels. It feels like tacos a bubble. just fucking you're going right up your ass crack, letting out at the top, <laughs> like like water it's going up like towards pops the top. Fucking <laughs> 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 it's got to escape oh. somehow. That's how I see it in my head. So whenever it comes out the front, I get real uncomfortable. It must be helium. Or <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Juggalo News. Get that shit in here. Juggalo News. It's funny how now that I'm editing the podcast, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> yes, you are. Like, What's hey, different? me, put that shit in there. It's funny how when you're editing the podcast, I'm sleeping. Oh, I'm lazy. I'm lazy with it now, dude. I don't know if anybody noticed, but... I tried to emulate as much as I can, but I, I notice. I don't care as much as he does. I, I go and I'm like, you're doing it all wrong. And I'm all like, Mark. I'm like, you see, we're losing viewers, Mark. right? We're not I'm losing. Like, viewers. He's like, what the fuck's going on? I'm yeah, like, we're losing viewers because yeah, the quality the, of the no, wipes. because of the quality of the wipes, and you're not, you weren't freezing the picture at the end. This yeah. is bullshit. Yeah. They only watch it for the picture, Taco. Right, that's bullshit. it. You need to do a better job at wiping, Taco. <laughs> <laughs> I work. I, I work. I've been working on it. I lost weight. Where I can I can touch my butthole now. Oh, that's great. It's always a plus, man. Dude, you can get so big that you can't touch your own butthole, and it becomes yeah. a problem. <laughs> and on Amazon, they have a thing, a, a solution that's like a rod. And you put the toilet paper on it, and you put it, and you say, "Yeah, so, I like looked into that." Gun, kind of. <laughs> I looked into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like cleaning the gun. Except for you don't go up in the hole. <laughs> you know what I would always do hey, is man, I would just get one of those little alligator head things head from the zoo. Oh, you know, yeah, the little yeah. alligator head on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it worked. <laughs> get the flamingo one. It's got that curved nose. <laughs> Scraping really it. Yeah, the just butt. get it right up in there. Ow, <laughs> that wicked shit's on sale closer than you think. Uh, the upcoming uh, Marvelous Missing Link Lost is going to be available on Best Buy and Walmart. Uh, Walmart already has a bunch of uh, ICP stuff in ex- with explicit lyrics mm-hmm. on their website. It's showing up in some stores. Of course, we already know that the shirts are already showing up. Uh, you can also get uh, the Garcia Brothers, uh, AMB's the Gar- the Garcia Brothers album at Best Buy. I'm I'm not shocked to hear the Best Buy thing. I used, that's where I used to go to get psychopathic stuff when I actually paid for music. Stuff like that. Yeah, They've opened up back in the day. Yeah, Walmart's the more of the surprise. Yeah. yeah, even then, like I remember Walmart and Target both carried Riddle Box. Back when I was uh, living in Oxford, Mississippi, uh, Walmart came in and killed our fucking music shop. It was called Sound Shop, and there was nothing. And there was Walmart. You, could not, you had to go twenty three miles to Batesville to another town to even go to. I never have shop. to go twenty three miles to Batesville. I get there pretty quick. <laughs> I've been losing weight. Batesville. Yeah, Batesville, Mississippi. <laughs> where this white girl got shot and everybody, all the white people are freaked out about it. But she hung out with fucking this hardcore gang and did a bunch of drugs and shit. She lived like a shit life and all these white people were all like, oh no, this cute little white girl got killed. Cute little white girl was getting boned by a bunch of fucking thug ass gangsters and got <laughs> shot in a crossfire. That's what fucking happened. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, yeah, you know, and everybody's like, oh no, the white girl. No, the white girl, the white girl. She just got, she knew what she was getting into. I don't know. That's just. Uh, gangster? Once you go thug, you're going to want the hugs or what? There you go. <laughs> Once you go thug, you're going to want them hugs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think that might be one of the funniest uh, things I guess to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, ICP, hey, we're covering Insane Clown Posse news, everybody. Is it still just Juggalo news? Um, I don't know who would care. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, that's not funny. <laughs> no, they're doing. They're bringing back some old school shit. They're doing an in store tour. Yep. For for the missing link, which is brilliant. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's the kind of old school shit I want to see. Well, what was the last in store tour they did? That was the the Wraith Funhouse tour, right? Where you walk through the little funhouse. Because I know they did the haunted house thing after that. Yeah. But, I mean, that wasn't in the store. You couldn't stop and get an autograph. They'd fucking fuck you off right through the room. Like, keep going. <laughs> but, but uh, no, the last the last in-store I remember was when Wraith Shangri-La came out. And, yeah. And they did that fun house. And thing. then after that, like, Killer still did in-stores yeah. and some other folks still did Twisted in-stores. Twisted still did in-stores. But ICP didn't do Mm-mm. any in-stores after that. But this is what I'm talking That's about. That's where I met Killer at was an in-store. The one this on is, Indian school. This is what I'm talking about. It is time since everybody is, since this little genre is starting to really blow up, mm-hmm. it's really time for the people who are older and to go back to their roots a little right. bit and reintroduce themselves to people that are coming in now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Not they have to go that, back. They have to go back to that, that, that appearance of giving a shit. And that's really what I feel like is missing from from their repertoire giving a shit while giving a shit saying you don't give a shit no but giving a shit about their fans no 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 absolutely no i i was just making a joke oh uh, poop that's all it poop was a jokes. terrible joke i'm sorry i apologize we'll cut it all right that uh, works we're not as long as you as long as you understand that I'm you're lazy. wrong i'm too lazy worry about yeah, yourself yeah, you're editing anyway. yeah i'm <laughs> editing I, I won't be cutting it uh twitch is most tasteless is now available at hatchet gear so I guess they got that all settled to where everybody's happy with it. Everybody yeah. gets a little some song. Yeah. That was that's good because fifth uh, they have the whole track list and everything on mm-hmm. there. Psychopathic so needs to become a distribution company. 
or have like an um, outlet for distribution. Well, they're, I mean, they're already using other distribution companies. If they could do it themselves, I'm sure that they would. No, I don't know. The logistics have to be a nightmare. That's what I'm saying. Like if they if they wanted to pursue that, I'm sure that they would. But they're they're going to outside distribution companies at this point in the game. Fifteen, what, twenty years? Yeah, twenty years in. We're talking about a company that has a hard time keeping an assistant. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And a, and a, and a Love roster, guys. Just and a saying, working roster. Yeah. I mean, it's it's every other week. It's somebody's off and then back on, and um, so I mean, it's I don't I don't foresee them doing the distribution thing anytime soon. But I mean, it makes sense for them to to they they probably had cases. Of I just the see, original I just I just list. I just see potential. Even then, just really having somebody that's you know that can push. Yeah, juggalo, juggalo, real, really push. Or at least invest into someone who would be able to get it done. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying you got psychopathic in Walmart now. Yeah, you know, it's got to be a lot more fans out there for that to be. They should happening. just Maybe, hire. They just should. They should no, just hire Walmart for no, distribution. No, it's not because. No, no, no. Here's the thing. You live in Phoenix, where you don't. You can't possibly understand this, but. In other places in America, Walmart is literally the only place they can get music. Yeah. And that's why that's happening. Think about all those podunk. Remember when so, we blew but, our. But what I'm saying is, is well, there's a lot of Walmarts and it means that they got a lot of places where they're going to be selling their stuff. And you said it yourself. You've got shirts that you didn't even know from your grandma wearing shit. And you're like, you like that band? You like that that sports team? You're like, no, what are you talking about? Because you're rocking something that, mm-hmm. you know, somebody got you as a gift. Mm-hmm. It's at Walmart. You're going to be getting them. People are going to be getting a lot of gifts. And if Juggalos do go there, and now they got more access to it. Now it's not. You no, know, Juggalos don't go to Walmart. Well, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying there's a lot of there's a lot more for expansion. I, I, Walmart, I don't, I don't Walmart see them being in Walmart. Walmart makes more sense than Hot Top. I don't see them. What I'm saying is I don't Only see them being in Walmart no and their fan base hotels. shrinking. Is what I'm saying. No, absolutely. I'm saying they're absolutely. in Walmart. Hopefully they get a couple but, more but people. But if, if we're looking at the type, the the the. I'm saying, ju- I'm saying the, these are moves to make Juggalos more acceptable. Right? And, and I'm, and I'm agreeing saying. with you. What I'm saying is that it makes more sense demographically yeah. for Psychopathic to be in Walmart yeah. than for Psychopathic to be in Hot Topic. Not about the start, placement. Start, start somewhere, though. Yeah, yeah but they did it somewhere. because of the placement. Mm-hmm. They did it because in, they, in it, most it, rural America, Walmart is the only mm-hmm. place you can get music. Hey, but still, you were you giving letting them them doing it in Hot Topic gave them an opportunity to prove, prove concept. Concept proven, they actually make money. There's their merchandise sells off the off the to shelves. the point where Hot Topic got sick of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like you said, let a conglomerate like fucking Walmart take over. You can literally go into a Hot Topic and buy a psychopathic merchandise, and, they'll roll and their eyes see again. you can hear the fucking eyes roll when you're in there. And, yep. it, and that's reasons why Juggalos punch random people in the face. It's not that random. They just it just looks random to you. Right. <laughs> just saying if i was old me man god damn i'd be in jail already you are still. old you yeah you're i'm really old me no, but you're, not you're old. the old you're me. really fucking old you. not talking about i'm talking about the younger me not old me old, old me. you <laughs> and ancient you are two hey different things. rich hill documentary featuring juggalos on netflix yeah what's this about the so i, so I read you it. have netflix you I have do. netflix i know but I, I mean, I. What is you Rich young Hill? What's it about? Is it about Juggalos or do they just get? There are Juggalos in it. They're featured in it. Gotcha. So what's the documentary about? It's about a town called Rich Hill. Gotcha. So basically, they just it's uh, Montana, I believe, and so I guess this week they featured part or part of the documentary. They had Juggalos in it. Is it a TV show? There, I think it is. I think it's like a. I don't know. What channel? Let's go watch it and we'll talk about we'll, it. Next yeah, week. we'll check we'll oh, check this it is out. Netflix you said? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Netflix. I just like uh, then you said Montana and I'm like if it's a okay. TV show they here's, probably did an episode about meth. Here's the problem. And then they did an episode about Juggalos. They probably just could have consolidated the two together. Is it, oh. is it what TV, I'm just what TV station or what, you know. Netflix. No. no, I don't. I don't. Net, I don't is it, is it Netflix. Netflix. No. Netflix. Is it, is it like HBO? And or I'm the old person. NBC you understand? I'm the old person. 
Do you FX. understand it? So he's I'm not, not the old person. Netflix, Netflix, oh, Netflix, so Netflix doesn't have... Yeah, they do have shows from other channels. Exclusive. Okay, wait, wait. Netflix you said exclusive. You forgot to and say exclusive. And that's what I'm asking. Why would I say... Okay, I could say HBO and Netflix if it was on HBO and Netflix. You know why I didn't? Because it's only on Netflix. And no one says... I don't have Netflix. Netflix. No one says I don't exclusive. watch Netflix. No one says Netflix, Netflix exclusively. I don't say Netflix, say Netflix either. I said Netflix. It's on Netflix. Fucking Fruit Loops. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. I've been getting down like binge. You just showed your age right there. Ah, yeah, yeah. I saw. That's I saw the shirt. I was, I was I gonna say soldier. Netflix. I don't listen watch to Netflix. me. Uh, no, this is the Trailer Park Boys is my shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't watch Netflix. I was literally ask, asking you if it was a Netflix exclusive, and you didn't pay. You didn't catch that. That's no, all that was. That's asked. not what. I, rewind exactly it back. It. Rewind no, it. rewind it back. Yes. And he goes, "What channel is it I'm, on?" Honestly, I'm just trying yeah. to. Yeah. Egg, no, I asked what channel. He didn't ask. I asked he didn't ask it. it he didn't go. And then, is it and then, and then watch it. I correct myself and goes, say just, it was Netflix. And he, he goes, "Yeah, it's goes, Netflix." Yeah. He, he and then I said, "So what was it? Was it? Is it HBO?" Rewind that. No, stop. Rewind that right now. Nope. 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 No. You're gonna edit it. And when you and when you edit it, we got you. No, he doesn't have me. He goes, "What channel hey, is it?" When you're on? editing, wake me up and tell me I was right. Okay, <laughs> I'll wake you up and show you how you're wrong. What channel is it on? You can't triple stamp. Yeah, I said that, and, and we and I corrected myself. What channel? Is it on? That was correct. I, mean, I did HBO. say that. No, I know it's on Netflix, but this dude missed HBO. the whole part of life. <laughs> that just happened right here. All right. So, who has who has a dog? I, I don't. Dude, I, I have some dogs. dogs that are total shitheads. I'm a dog. <laughs> Cottonmouth King is. I got a, food dog. Announced a new contest called Dogs Life Photo Contest. Food dog. Basically, where you take a, a picture of your dog, uh, in yourself, rocking the crown, and you turn it in, and uh, they don't say when there's a deadline or what the prize is. Yeah, they just they just want to see your dogs. <laughs> Think of how many people are gonna have that fucking the tattoos. They're gonna get their dog tattooed. I have a hard time <laughs> talking about contests because most of the time when contests are done, you know, he's just sour because, because he got robbed. He's, he get, he <laughs> got I'm not the fun. only person who got robbed <laughs> got though. There's fucked. plenty of people who've done. Contests. Yeah, no, Zach, Zach, our, and, our buddy Zach yeah. got got fucked by uh, uh, some company and Roku. Rox, uh, a Roku. Yeah. yeah, he was supposed to get a Roku box from a promotional uh, contest with this other company. They gave him the runaround. Roku gave him the runaround. I'm like, man. Yeah, he, he did that wah, through Facebook. Wah, wah. Damn, we went through that fast. It's because there's nothing right. going on. Yeah, no. We'll be right back after a couple of songs. The Greenhouse Project. Vision to ourselves and sing our own songs. Stuck on a top shelf but won't be there long. Making moves in the grooves on the vinyls in your attic. Time will only tell if my vision will really happen Cause we keep to ourselves and sing our own songs Stuck on the top shelf but won't be there long Making moves in the grooves on the vinyls in your attic Time will only tell if my vision will really happen We're living life circulating music Incubating truth in every single sentence that we push to make improvements Yes we aim to use it Living life circulating music Incubating truth in every single sentence that we push to make improvements Deep down it could be the base of our amusements But I see now that I'm lost in the confusion So I'll speak loud or forever hold my two cents I said I see now so it's back to the movement Back to counteract what have me shackled and useless Reality struck and now I'm rattled by the true grip So I'ma break it down and shake it up until it loosens Make moves, can I break through to the true grits? Not the two bits who can never make the shoe fit I, I think it's stupid Most of the cats rap without a master blueprint Buddy B and G, we making music All of us fight for their dreams No bro, I don't have anything Some still don't know who they are How old are you? I can't call it Or where their road will turn Some are blind from hate and lies. Did you ever experience anything like that kind of 
music is my religion and I have no God I got a brain full of melodies and lungs full of pot Odd thoughts in the mind, top dog in these rhymes Hot tub with the flow, I grow better with time Stand at the front of the line, never wait for the slow post These old folks mad at the fact that these young cats are holding the old soul of a microphone master Still sound smooth, son, speech of the holy one Blast you back to ghetto, blast is dancing on linoleum Drain a can of Krylon on the wall and hope it stays up Staying up late, alcohol all in my gut Early morning Tylenol, hauling off a hangover Rolling up another wall, relieving my liver Sending shivers down my back when I envision the crowd So live, so loud, hands up, hands down Feel alive, move around and groove to the green sound We keep to ourselves and sing our own songs Stuck on the top shelf but won't be there long Making moves in the grooves on the vinyls in your attic Time will only tell if my vision will really happen Cause we keep to ourselves and sing our own songs Stuck on the top shelf but won't be there long Making moves in the grooves on the vinyls in your attic Time will only tell if my vision will really happen No bro, I don't have anything Some still don't know Like that kind? Well, this one time, the greenhouse project. The ice is melting at the north and south poles. One reason for this is the greenhouse effect. Check it out now. What is the greenhouse effect? You know that feeling that you get when you hit with sentiment. Nostalgic in a sense, but you can't connect the tense. From the past to the future in the present, we commence. To kick a couple sentences, we flip to pay the rent. Check it out. So we flip the same message. Stick to the same ways. Maintain essence. Yes, we break leverage. Take it all in and try to change the perspective of anybody willing to become a collective. Yo, we technically reckless. Deep in the action in the matter of seconds. The question's not to be better invested. But whether you're better than all the ones to be tested. Yo, when you're all done and you finish the lesson, we'll be graduated straight kicking a session. Staying out the truth just to spread an infection. Cause we're circulating music like a gift and a blessing. Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners, too hot to stop, get rocked when I riddle words. Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners, too hot to not drop, listen while I spit a verse. Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners, too hot to stop, get rocked when I riddle words. Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners, too hot to not drop, listen while I spit a verse. Every second, every minute, every moment I'm rhyming, I'll be releasing the essence and pressing all of this bitters. Blessing mics with a little bit of juice in my soul, feeling loose in the zone, so stone to the bone. I hold a pen in my hand, I'm not I gripping no chrome. I take hella long lips to the dome when I'm alone. Never needed a bad influence. I am on my own. Hit a verse so fluid and fluid and proving every time I do it. And yo, can't stop and I know that I won't. Anytime soon for 2710, son. Anytime's cool. Ready with the rhyme anytime and it's not true. Cause I'm heady with the wax. Steady with the facts. Ready to feel the rhythm and splash it on pads like I'm bleeding these melodies. Melodies needs bleeding from humming on these cats. Roll me a bleed fat. Keep your shitty raps to yourself cause we don't need that. Uh, yo, it's Greenhouse rolling the roots to shoot higher The new moon walker and butts Mac for hire Uh, 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 uh Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners Too hot to stop, get rocked when I riddle words Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners Too hot to not drop, listen while I spit a verse Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners Too hot to stop, get rocked when I riddle words Peace to the greenhouse, loud mouth listeners Too hot to not drop, listen while I spit a verse Humans cause a lot of pollution by producing large amounts of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. The small particles increase in number, and the result is just like a greenhouse where the glass is too thick. So an increased amount of radiation is sent back to Earth, and the heat is unable to escape, causing temperatures to rise constantly on our planet. All right, we're back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? All right. Taco so, just got murdered. Hip hop news. <laughs> hip hop news. No, I didn't get murdered. I know what I said. I know what was said. Words. Words, hey, words were said. Really That's a fact. Fucking words. 
<laughs> top of the top of the stories of hip hop news, Immortal Technique is uh, Whoa, arrested. Yeah. Arrested. Completely fucking yeah. innocent what? though. He should have. He absolutely had innocent. every right. Bro, he had every no, right. To he didn't have every right to put no, hands on people. He had every right to no, do that. No, no, you're making not. money off of my image. You're selling my shit without my fucking. Then you sue them. Then you sue them. Call the police. You call the police. You call the police and hand and handle it right. He's man. a solicitor. I just. I feel like he's an illegal solicitor. He could easily been ran off. I, I feel like it. it you got to punch a motherfucker in his eyeball sometimes for doing I'm just shit saying, like man, that. if he's going to fucking get his ass, he don't to have to be the one kicking ass. There was yeah. other 10 right. other yeah, no, no, no. Let the 10 other guys do the business <laughs> and then hand it man. Got to get straight. Look, have you listened to him? How long has he been doing it? How long has he been doing it, though? You really need the street You really need the street cred? No, it's not about the street cred. That's what I'm saying. He's just not fucking stable. He's not a mentally stable guy. So he, he, I, I say. I expected, I would expect that on Mortal <laughs> Technique. If I was selling a Mortal Techniques t-shirts, yeah, get ready and I, to get and cracked and over I would head expect your shit to too. get my fucking head cracked. I, I, I would. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really sad to hear, man. The guy's a legend. You know, he doesn't need to get fucking hassled by that. He doesn't need somebody stealing his shit. He was and, just uh, in town, too. Yeah. I just saw him uh, the other day. It's like I said, there's no he good excuse it. for bad <laughs> There's no good excuse for bad behavior. Yeah. Right. That's what I've always said. So that happened in between when you saw That was him. like in Cali or something, right? I would just, no doubt. It just yeah, happened, I think right? it was. Yeah, it just happened this week. The OC. Oh, shit. Uh, it happened. He's already out, though. Yeah, he's out. Posted bail. Yeah, move, Santa but... Ana, California. Fuck it, then. Because he's got a world <laughs> technique money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, I can understand why he would feel that way, but that's just not how you civilly handle something. Quite literally, unless you're a moral technique, Hi. or uh, or Afro man, or Afro man. That's oh, yeah. man. But see, that's a difference. That's a different no, situation. Is it, is absolutely, it, is absolutely. It? absolutely. That girl. bitch wasn't. That bitch yeah. wasn't. Uh, she wasn't financially <laughs> benefiting. She wasn't eating off of his plate. Yes, but she was. She was trying to like make a fucking ass out of herself. Sure, but these guys weren't. They were trying to eat off of a mortal technique's plate. They're making an ass out of themselves. No, they're because they knew. Look, because they look, knew going that into might have been it. that might have been the 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 core thing for the chick on and, on the Afro yeah. Man stage. That was her core issue was to make an ass of herself. Yeah. The core issue for these guys was to but make but they know money. what they're doing. They know they're bootlegging. They're making an ass out of themselves. Nope. They're taking they're taking money from them, just like stealing shine from the fucking nope thing. What do you mean? From the sun. I'm just saying. He's, no, he's elaborate he's just, on, on he's, your disagreement. He, no, he's not. He's, uh, he's, he's antagonizing. Elaborate on your disagreement. My disagreement. I like to elaborate. Um, who smokes weed? See, I win. I win. I win. I got the majority votes. I win. Yes. Yes. That's how that. Went. Yeah. That's how that went. <laughs> What's the next story? Because I'm really excited it. about medicine. one of these stories. <laughs> I was really bummed to hear about Don't do the one he's excited about. Uh, Tupac, like the two, fortune cookie. Tupac's estate, estate, uh, Tupac's estate uh, has been uh, purchased by someone else. Yep. Okay. Been, so them. entire, any unreleased music could be found and released. Any music. They can, they they can, they can do the, it, though. they yeah. can do that whole. Uh, you don't <laughs> buy something like that to hold on to it. They could do That's the whole true. thing like they're doing with the Wu-Tang CD. Where they could just auction it off, be like, you can listen to it one time. Oh God, you know that would piss off Wu Tang because that that would make more than five five million dollars. Is that what the Wu Tang CD ended up going for? Yeah. Well, what? What's up, Remy? Oh no, I was just wondering. Shut the fuck up! (laughs) Fuck off! All right, so, so, but that could be the (laughs) new thing. That could, do you guys hear anything? It's highly, it's highly volatile. Yeah, you can the mic, podcast, okay. the podcast. This is why I only wanted to do twenty four because as it wears on, people get wary. Yes. So, so no, here's what I did. See, I got my punching that. fucking gloves on. Oh, Sorry. Here's what I got here's, my punching face on. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Here's what I here's what I heard about this though. I heard that Jay Z is the one that purchased the estate. That'd be um, interesting as fuck. And that he's gonna make an announcement about it on Monday. Could you imagine him pulling something from the unreleased stuff and then doing a track with two? Uh, with that's, two what I, that's what I'm hearing. It, it's either gonna go like that or it's gonna fucking wild. I wrote the song many, a long many, time how many, ago. How many, how many people? A long, long time ago. Dave Chappelle did 
this. How many think? You, how many people do you think went after it? <laughs> um, I, I'm honestly for the for the Tupac discography. I don't know that there's you know that Dre many people. went after it. Yeah, you yeah, know Dre like, did. You know, uh, Suge Knight probably would have if he wasn't too busy <laughs> passing out and. And yeah, screaming. losing all his money. Uh, Shignai is pretty much almost broke. Yeah, no, that's yeah. what I mean. He, but he would have went after it. Yeah, he, he would have tried to dangle the auctioneer over a fucking balcony. <laughs> Take out some knees. <laughs> you know? Um, but I honestly and it, fifty and it cent, sucks to say fifty that. cent could go after it. Yeah. I, just, got, I, don't, I don't. He's got the money. It's not about right. Any 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 entertainer with the money is going to go after it. I want to say Biggie's mom. You got the cash money crew. <laughs> Biggie's yeah. mom should yeah. bought Tupac's property. Mrs. Oh, that'd Wallace. been fucked up. <laughs> that or Faith cool. Evans. She's coming. Mrs. Lil' Kim coming and swoop it all up. <laughs> that a <laughs> <laughs> I personally, I wouldn't like that because personally I think it's weird that Jay-Z even would pick it up. Just yeah, me. but I... If Dre so, picked it up, I would understand it 100%. Sure. Understand. Well, no, it's it's kind of one of those... Broke. It's it's a slap in the face because, you know, Jay-Z was part of fucking uh, Good Mob, Goody Mob, right? Yeah. So... You know that there's the connection to Biggie, so now that it comes back, and now my camp, it's like we get the last laugh, we get the final say, and East Coast, West Coast, now East Coast owns West Coast, checkmate. Yeah, that's I mean that's good. that's kind of what it feels like to me. I think the WWE bought WCW. Yeah, I mean Tupac is He's originally an East Coast guy. Though. Right, but yeah. but look, and and you're a hundred percent right, but nobody fucking. But bumps. he didn't pull his dick no. out until he got on the West. Nobody Coast. fucking yeah. bumps Humpty and, and Digital I mean, Underground. Okay, I do. Well, yeah, no, yeah, I was right. Say, man, I listen to that shit like twice a day. What I'm saying though is that that wasn't the popular shit that Tupac was a part of. Yeah, it was all like backup. Tupac dancing, became yeah, popular. Wow. For being a West Coast rapper, yeah, very so nice. so that's what it feels like. The whole East Coast West Coast beef was between Biggie and Tupac. Like you can't say, oh, Tupac was an East Coast rapper. It completely mm-hmm. negates that entire beef, and that is one of the biggest beefs in hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. If you so guys know me, hip hop, I love man. beefs in hip. I feel like that's how what helped build. We it. know you love beef. Yeah, I love the beef. media hyped it though. I feel like, <laughs> like right? I don't know. it is what's for dinner. <laughs> Shut up! BMI and ASCAP are saying that songwriters are uh, not being uh, paid fairly for streaming music, and uh, they are they've made a claim based off of uh, at least one of these. My fucking phone goes crazy, and it's all from the same place. Going crazy. <laughs> My phone's you gotta stop crazy. getting those fucking updates from Snow Gay me. Love Life Docs. I haven't updated anything. <laughs> I haven't updated Hello, anything. my name is Saul Rosenberg. Last time it happened. <laughs> last time it happened, I didn't do it. Somebody is viewing your profile. Yeah. Uh, the federal government's addressing it. Representatives from ASCAP, BMI, and affiliate music publishing companies are targeting uh, an antitrust consent decree that was established in 1941. So it basically is one of those things that's the same as the bar owners if they play certain music. Right, like they the have to pay or the a certain amount. companies. Well, those revenues are not making it all the way to the songwriters. Gotcha. Where are they where are they getting I, they, dammed up at? They're probably stopping at the artist's company. I don't know. I'm thinking whoever sells the C D to the company. Apparently the apparently royalties get being misappropriated. Happens a lot more in the music business, sure, than any other business oh, because, yeah. like, we heard that whole uh, straight uh, blurred lines thing, uh, where they claim that they made more money. They they proved they made more money off of it than they stated, right? Stuff like that. So, like, apparently, funds are getting misappropriated all over the place. That's just a squirrel trying to get a nut. That's just free money, yeah. Yeah. No, because okay, like it's all digital. You don't. Yeah. You don't have to press anything. Ain't no overhead. And no I don't mind. see. I don't. I don't necessarily think that like Paul McCartney, for example, is. You know, he's a smart guy, but I. I doubt he's sitting on the fucking internet watching his streaming yeah. numbers. You know, well, Paul McCartney that, pays somebody to do that, but maybe he's not. No, Paul McCartney is. He has the entire Michael Jackson collection. Uh, he yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. He absolutely is. Did, and, yeah, didn't he and, buy that? Didn't he buy that because Michael Jackson bought the Beatles? 
catalog. Y- yes, but he has the him. Beatles now. He has and he and Michael Jackson. And he helped release it to iTunes and all but, that. But but did he does he also have do you, are you saying he has Michael Jackson's <laughs> yes. catalog yeah. now too? Yes, he does. How that that's the exact same thing as fucking uh <laughs> Jay-Z buying yeah. Biggie's shit. Yeah. Yeah. It makes perfect sense because it's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, fuck me, we'll fuck you too." And and now I get the last laugh because what are you going to do? Or okay, Jackson. well, there might be a recorded laugh track. It's unreleased. <laughs> <laughs> or Michael Jackson marrying. Imagine that. He's, he's, he's playing a project. Ha, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Direct it straight to you. That, that'd be great. Uh, the miseducation of Lauren Hill is going to be added to the Library of Congress. Oh, great. That's okay. about fucking time. Man. Yeah, that was that's such a an great amazing album. album. That album was great from fucking first to last. Mm-hmm. It was. It really is. One of the best albums that was one that's of the ever come out of hip hop. Seriously. Yeah, that was one of the first R and B hip hop style CDs that I ever got. It's a shame she went so nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so did Erica Badu. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> she was super talented too. But she Erica Badu was she Erica is. Badu was nuts from the get go, and she never got worse. She just stayed the same fucking crazy. Right. Uh, Lauren Hill started out as like uh, a, a functioning normal member of society, became a tinfoil yeah. hat person. Yep. <laughs> like I, that's uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. Other people who has had their music added to the Library of Congress: uh, Sugar Hill Gang. De La Soul and Tupac Shakur. You know what we should do? Tupac we should pull Shaker. a Tom La Green. Soul. You guys remember when Tom Green painted that painting and then went and stuck it up on the wall in the museum in Canada? Oh, That's yeah. what we need to do with our music. <laughs> with the fucking Damien just sat up and said, I love De La Soul. I'm yeah, like, De La Soul is what? Cool. You know who De La Soul is? <laughs> Name a song. Oh, didn't oh. Mean it he didn't mean it to where he liked. He them didn't. Much no, he didn't know mean that he respected them as artists and listened to them. He's just that sounds cool. I know Spanish. The Greenhouse Project, fifty fifty. Let's talk about the bass and my will, you know the chase it'll real, yeah Cause this is how I chill from 92 till Infinity definitive, ready to bust skill You ready to trust will, ready to touch luck To steadily clutch bills or ready to fuck up The heavenly bust still, the heavenly can't wait To settle the worst deal, so what's it gonna be? You pretending to stand still or ready to stand up To pedal the first kill like boom You ready but the federal syndicate ain't thrill So now, you ready to kick to the main reel you tell them that the system is crippled, they can't heal So shifty we can't feel If it's 50-50 to you, you can fuck your repeal Keep real, conceal the will, the kill The still frame images of blemishes And brainwashing messages that represent The resentment of devilish severance Ripping the relevance of a real individual The individual only in it to whittle those Little slow, so doped up, baked up Like the city ghost Nope, I'ma climb to the top Break bread with the little folks First draft written, I'm spitting and emitting light Eyes glisten when I listen to the playback Play it back twice, lay back like device Flood the floodlights, marijuana blood type Pothead, show you right, I'm your royal highness Mary is to me, what a blanket be the lioness If I was crown king, then she'd be my lioness Put it out for free, not even me would wanna be buying this Rhyme fresh, climb steps to the tippy No stems, no seeds, no sacks, surf skimpy Glued to the boob tube, rim meat stimpy Rim cycle circle, tend to get a little lippy Pass it in a circle, new era of broke hippies Smoke homegrown sticky, I'll split it 50-50 Tobacco plus the purple, perfect recipe for spliffies I write a verse and spit it first draft I ain't gon' lie, I did it in like nine takes I ain't gon' lie, pseudo studio fuck face I ain't gon' lie, I really got what it does take Keep real, conceal the will to kill The still frame images of blemishes And brainwashing messages that represent The resentment of devilish settlements Ripping the relevance of a real individual The individual only in a total dose Little slow, so don't go They all grab their dicks, you know why? Because they don't play any fucking instruments!
Wherever I'm ripping the mic On stage every night I grab my balls And they smell like crunch berries My dick and balls Gonna get sweaty under these when lights When there are haters ready to fight In the club or outside I grab my balls Who's gonna let them talk to you like that? My dick and balls Wherever I be I be that killer you see Hello. My hands on my balls like you seen on TV <laughs> On the internet screen Baby, live in the streets Don't get this song twisted I'm not beating my meat nope. Just keeping it simple Like bodies for pimples I even grip my scrotum When I ain't got no pistol yeah. My squabble skills bad You will see like Diego Beat your ass down One hand chain to my ankles The head hurts monsters Performance at night That's If fine. a clown is what you wish Baby, I'm your type She grab my balls Whoa. Yeah. My dick and balls Whenever I'm ready to fuck I wrap my cock and my nuts I wrap my balls Cause you don't know what she's got My dick and balls Giggity, giggity Wherever I'm ripping the mic On stage every night I grab my balls And they smell like crunch berries My dick and balls Gonna get sweaty under these when lights When there are haters ready to fight In the club or outside I grab my balls. I'm gonna let them talk to you like that. My dick and balls. Now whoop his ass. This is more than an anthem. Put your damn hands down. Cup the front of your pants. Take your little man from random. Acts of violence, silence you queer. Cause right now I'm talking to man. We can't hit a rock show. We do it so well. And when I'm captivating hoes, it ain't the ego that swells. I know she totally felt what I'm talking about. Now a man steps up, I grab my nuts. I'm knocking them out. I guess this, 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 this is stupid Like a turtleneck, I grab at will So what's the big deal? Everyone doing it, grabbing cock like it's a steering wheel Keeping it rolling, rolling, rolling Enough for the groping can be over excessively Touching too much Or these ladies may think you got funky nuts Hold up, wait up, gotta get some cook, 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 cut up I'm clean as a freshly steamed llama bean You can go and just stick me in your mama's butt <laughs> What? My balls and my words going together so good on stage It's absurd and hazard to your hill Girls bum rush the show to touch my pubic tail The life of a rapper, I wouldn't ever wanna be anything Wherever else Wherever I'm ripping the mic On stage every night I grab my balls And they smell like crunch berries My dick and balls Gonna get sweaty under these when lights When there are haters ready to fight In the club or outside I grab my balls Who's gonna let them talk to you like that? My dick and balls Now whoop his ass I'm a jerk off in your eye, girl Cause it's nasty I was scratching my nutsack And then you walked right past me I'm about to rock this here stage In only a minute But is your cooter vacant? Let me move in as a tenant So many scenarios When it comes to me grabbing my balls Like my newspaper route And family trips in Niagara Falls There's always Groby grabbing At an autograph session From girls playing Russian roulette And my dick is the weapon That was Texas motherfucker Erect like Reunion Tower I gently lift my boys up When I wash them in the shower They have a special pillow When I sit in the chair I grab my balls When I won that giant panda At the Texas State Fair Lefty and George Hang hammock style I flash him at emo chick so I can unlock the smile Sound is some mine Holding my grapes at wine vineyards in France My nut grabbing is epic It'll make you wanna well, line dance I'm ripping the mic On stage every night I grab my balls And they smell like crunch berries My dick and balls Gonna get sweaty under these when lights there are haters ready to fight In the club or outside I grab my balls Who's gonna let them talk to you like that? My dick and balls Now whoop his ass
Uh, Snoop Dogg says something that a lot of people have been saying for a long time. George Bush doesn't public. care about black people? No, close though. <laughs> Snoop Dogg says that Ronald Reagan's... Hold on, I'm going to let you finish. Yeah. That is that Was that it? No. Oh. Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time? I was waiting for Of all that. time. Oh. Snoop Dogg says Ronald Reagan's responsible for the rise of drugs and gangs. <laughs> Here's the thing, I get it though. though. The don't say no thing Here's just thing, made it. He's he's not far kind off. Kind of right. He's not far off. No, I read a study recently where they said that children that went through dare actually became more likely to use drugs because they were going, they were trying to treat it like back then. You know, smoking pot, for example, it wasn't rampant. It wasn't everywhere. But dare tried to be like. It's going to happen and everybody else is smoking pot and you got to say no. So then kids are like, well, fuck, if everybody fucking else is doing it, then I should, I don't want to be the only one that's not. And then so, they try it. And, they're and, like, and, and it's great. Like, yeah. yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> but that just say no, that dare thing, it, it absolutely, I can see where it cultivated the drug culture that we're in. Well, what happened, what he's claiming that happened was uh, that he, the way he makes it sound like, he makes it sound like they had a plan. They did the whole thing on purpose. Like so they had the war on drugs, and they shifted all that money towards that, and then and then that means that other things didn't get so much money. So it basically hurt education. Those people became kind of dumb and couldn't get jobs on their own, so they wound up going resorting to crime. And about that time, when they had a bunch of people that were resorting to crime, they just funneled guns into those neighborhoods. Gotcha. <laughs> That's the way he explains it. Now. Did the war on drugs cause more gangs? I'm going to say in an economic sense, yes, it did. Because making something more risque, making something more taboo, makes it more attractive to somebody who doesn't give a fuck isn't, what you're trying to teach them. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black, though? What do you mean? Snoop saying that is this nigga that fucking Ronald Reagan started this shit when he's like, Fucking Snoop Dogg, gangsta fucking mm-hmm. crit walking. But Snoop Dogg yeah. would have been about five, six years but old I mean, when Reagan I'm, did. I'm what just he saying did. though, he he didn't he, he didn't wasn't he didn't rapper. stop it. Snoop Dogg wasn't doing. What he's saying is, is he's, he's a, product a product of his environment. He's a product of that environment. That's what he's saying. Nah, he's a product. Like he's, he's a product. He's a product of NWA. Like you're, like, much like you're a product <laughs> of your environment. He's a product of NWA. Thing. No, it's just where he grew up. And everybody else was like that by the time he got in there because Reagan and Bush and all those. Uh, tr- and they also talk about trickle-down ep- economics, about how trickle-down ep- economics didn't work, and it did not work. It did not work. The people at the top did not ever trickle down to I don't people. See, I, I mean, yeah, there was probably a lot more gangs, but I, I don't see gangs started up with with this guy. Gangs absolutely. Are, gangs it, it, it absolutely blew up. Did. It blew up it in the 90s. Did. Gang culture blew yeah. up with the Ronald Reagan trickle down. Ep- no, yep, sure did. That's that's where crack came from. That's yep. where uh, the the um, fuck. What is it? When they they were funneling in and they found out that it was happening. Was it? It wasn't MK Ultra because that's when they were testing acid on and and shit like that on people. But there was a, a the but crack is a just contract. a form of cocaine. So cocaine was always there. Yeah. Right, but crack is entirely more addicting than cocaine is, and easier yeah, to produce. Yeah, yeah, it's but cheaper. It was introduced by the government. Is what they and, and they've proved this that the government introduced crack cocaine into these these urban areas in order to try to destroy these urban areas. And all it did was create a, a need for crime increasement because now you have to have more people to protect or sell this drug, whatever it might be. So I'm just it, it like, created I, I, an influx I, I, I'm of gang just, activity. I'm just saying I didn't see any I didn't see any of those government people showing any of the, the dope houses that I were in I was in, you know, how they how they did that. No, stuff. They, of course they wouldn't. The, the, yeah. the government's not gonna come <laughs> to the that's what I'm that's what, that's what that's right. and, that, and that's the stuff I'm saying. Like if you're saying that they tried they taught them we represent the no, government they, that's we'd just like to show you that's just we would like to show you how to cook crack. That's just chemistry, bro. Can I come in? Right. But that's just chemistry. Where so so where that's the way the government operates. They come right to with the trap house. I'd like to sell you the recipe for crack money make money making and money making and Money Cotton making piece. and people taking any opportunity, and when you and when you are poor and when you are when you mm-hmm. are in the slums, guess what, bro? I'll sell you this fucking sheet. I'll sell you anything uh-huh. I can. That's sell the you. point, I, and that's and that's, that's the, the exact point. point. At the trap house, but so there was the always tra- poor people. I'm what I'm trying there to say. There was is, always. I'm like I'm, my, my. There was know, not poor people. There wasn't as many. Well, my poor great people my great grandparents. My great grandparents came from Mexico and they moved over here, bro. They didn't come in here with a, with a mansion. 
You know, they had to work for what they work for what they had, and the and the stupid ones that came and they didn't fucking work. Guess what? They were stupid and poor, and more of them, more of them just kept coming, and some of them were stupid and didn't fucking work and created problems, and some didn't. To me, that ain't nothing to do with Reagan. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It, it's it not, has everything not, to do with Reagan. It, what what it, it has did. to do with is the economy in the U.S. was dictated by his policies. Yes, it was absolutely by, by Ronald and Reagan's the policies, policies that he put in place made the poorest people so destitute yep. that they would have to sell whatever like you said it's it's that whole one percent when one percent of the of of our population controls 99 percent of the finances they don't trickle it down and he had this whole thing where it was going to be a trickle down from almost like uh uh the the gifting you guys remember the the gifting schemes back in the day where we all get together we all pool our money and this month this guy the gets all that scheme, money yeah and then next month, Pyramid this scheme. guy gets yeah. some money. Well, yeah. they, he set that up, but they never followed through on right. it. Right. So they took these these destitute people that had almost nothing and said, give us something and we'll give you some. You'll get yours. Mm -hmm. And then you never got yours. So now you're forced. You're put in a position where the government has now forced you on to purpose. do something. On purpose. To make money. On and that's purpose. something that, that, that they did was sell crack. Yep. Again, which was you're right. It's, They're, still it's doing it. They're still doing it's it. It's still happening. Oh, yeah, it hasn't doing changed. It now. Got it. But what I'm saying, and, and and now we're in a different world. But it's no, we're not. Still, and, and it's still not happening. Even, no, we're not. Even still, we're st it's still happening. There's no end to it. There was right. no. There was no. But that was the me. beginning. There, you're right. Really there's see, no end to it. I don't really see the beginning. But that was the beginning. Just, I see a marker and someone saying that's what happened. The, the that beginning, is what happened. The beginning. There's tons of people who agree with that. The beginning was the the end of the 80s, beginning of the 90s. There's historians that believe that's when this started. Yeah. It was like set up to make money and shit. Like they they formed the DEA and all that shit. It's like. How how is more like opium and heroin and shit coming out of yeah. Afghanistan? That's when the countries DEA that happened. Were, that were going to like you know bring right. democracy to. Why is all this? Why are all these drugs coming out of there all of a right. sudden when we're supposed to have like control and be DEA and got shit. and now heroin and shit was huge big out. then. Oh, yeah. Not, like ATF every, like, was created around that time. Like a whole bunch of things. The, the, I've explained this I in podcasts before. I see that before. as a, just a, a, a money. Everybody's getting money. I don't. I, I mean, it was maybe there was an money. alternative motive. Maybe there was an alternative motive, but it was about getting it, money. It was about money. It was that about was, the rich people getting all the money. Yep. And the poor and, people and having trying to scratch. destroy the poor community, yeah. not just they were not trying just, to they were trying to eliminate an entire <laughs> class of people, which they're still trying to do to this day. Yep. And the way that they did it back then was by introducing chemistry, which. You know, the, but that forms gangs. I, mean, I don't absolutely. Get it. Yes, it absolutely, absolutely. does. Absolutely. When, when I've been, got, hold has on, been hold shown. on, hold on. If I've got, let's say I've got two kilos of coke, and I'm just me, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna bring on 15 people to make sure I don't get killed because I'm the only one with two kilos, and there's 30 other people that want it. You don't think I'm gonna grab five of my boys, and now I've got four kilos, and now I'm gonna grab 10 more of my boys, and I'm gonna give each one of them a kilo. That's exactly how it gets started. It goes from yep. the very top. All the way down, and, and it becomes an umbrella. It fans out. Those are drug, those are drug dealers. That's the drug dealer and a gang member too. For jeans, though, man. Not at not the beginning. Really. Not at the I beginning guess, of it. There I were guess. there were gangs that started. There were gangs that started out of protection. There were drug dealers that started groups when they joined together to try to make more money for the for their business because that's what it is. A gang's a business, just like a drug dealer's a business. When they joined up, that's exactly what it what it. Here's created. a fantastic example. When uh, when was Al Capone big? Thirties during Prohibition. Yeah, when it was illegal to sell to alcohol, sell alcohol or manufacture alcohol, was, and everybody was poor. It was mm -hmm. coming out of the depression around the time of the depression, coming out of the depression. Right. So there was gangs created based on that, and they sold beer and liquor, and that was the crack. And when they it. realized that it was all the rich white people that were doing that, they repealed Prohibition. I don't know, bro. I, I, I like I said, I you think don't know that the people don't know, know what history. I'm saying. What I'm, well, what I'm saying is, in the '80s, I was there in the '80s. I grew up in the '80s, and growing up in the '80s, like I said, rocking around, seeing people, the the family, the hoods, the life. That shit was there already. I didn't see anybody, you know, come slap us and say, "Y'all be thug mentality." It's like it was way there before the '80s. Right. There was the menta the mentality was there. The gangs were already there. Everything <laughs> was already established already. Cocaine was already there before cocaine. There was a uh, heroin. There was other. There was other things. There was something else. But those. These are the main. That that like you said. That was the main drug. Cocaine. The crack. Man. That was just a fucking way to. That's 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 that. Aren't you that, born in '85? That, that is marijuana to dough, to dough to concentrates. It's just another form of selling a product, man. 
And to blame that or to say that's a, that's just a business. That's no, just it's a business. proven. It's it's proven Interest historically. Interest in gangs declined in ninth. This is in Encyclopedia.com. Interest in gangs declined in the 1970s. However, gangs have increasingly captured the attention of and movies have nothing to do with that. Because I know I watched a lot of, of movies that influence a lot of homies and a lot of gangsters. Yeah. He just doesn't you know? want to understand. No, well, at, no well, around that time, I saw around that, around that same right. time, around that same time, and you started seeing those movies, the American Me's and the Bound by Honors and stuff like that, man. You blood know, in, the, blood, out. Blood, in, blood in, blood out. <laughs> you see all those, you see smoke. all those movies. They glorify, Rocky they glorified, a, they glorified a lot, a lot of that life, man. South Central. <laughs> My favorites don't be a menace to South Central. I'll drink your juice, juice in the hood. Yeah, which I've mentioned yeah, several buddy. times. <laughs> yeah, no, it said it even says here that the decline rise, the decline in the seventies came back in the eighties. I get it, man, but that's just saying you know this guy did something and these guys did something at the same time. They're automatically linked. Now maybe they might have had some links. Everything is but bro, linked I'm saying I, I get I get it, man. But I'm saying now, as a product of my environment. Um, I, I went to what I went to, maybe because Reagan set it up that way, but I'm like, Reagan didn't put the fucking park right there that my gang got named after. You know what I mean? It was already there, and they already have veteranos and OGs no, but there's, but from, there's, decade, from, from a decade before that they were already running. Reagan was already in office before you were born. What are you talking about, Reagan, Reagan? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan was in office. You were born in 1984, 1985? 80. 80. 80, buddy. Well, then he came. He came in. Say you were and you were about two yeah. years old, mm -hmm. one or two I'm years 81. old. So, and that's and that's when it was proven. It was proven historically that the yeah. U.S. government introduced yes. crack that's, cocaine. But that's like that's like telling me Ronald Reagan is the reason why my dad was in prison. Yes, Ronald Reagan could have been the reason why your dad was in prison uh, because I, of the no, culture. It was the, choi that he it was the choices that he made. Right, it was no, the dude. From, absolutely, the dude it's, land, it's the how many choices? How many choices? And became, and be, but, be, but the difference is how many choices were available to him at the time. How many choices are how many how many choices are available to available to us now? And it's it don't, not and it, the same. And it, and it, no, it it's ain't the not same. the same. But I'm saying it only changed because of media exposure. It changed because life changed and the way things were as far as the way we accepted people. Whites, blacks, we all look at each other. Became a weak. This you even said. We even said that this generation is a generation of no bullies and let's be friends. But just literally, last generation was a except generation for, of fuck all your motherfuckers. Except for it seems myself. like everybody's a bully. You know what I mean? Except for it seems like everybody's a bully. Yeah, but hey, man, the, everybody's aunt says anti bully. And, and, and so now when we're gonna say Obama. Them. Obama's the reason why everybody's nice to each other. It's like no, there was just media there, and, and people stopped the anti bully shit, and people just for some reason people got fed up all at the same goddamn time. Money you know? has a lot more to do with it than you give I it bet credit. It does. Oh no, I do give it credit for sure. I'm just saying I don't I don't say that like I just said Ronald Reagan put my dad in in, in prison. No man, that it, dude that dude made foul, that dude made bad mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And those, and but if it mistakes was all he could make, if his only options hey, were bro, mistakes. No, bro, they're not, but they're not. That's just a person's choice. If, you're, if your choices are st sell, crack, or starve, but what who are you going to do? It, it yeah, it exactly. Ain't, bro. I'm but, no, I know. I'm not it, saying it, it, it is, but what if it was? What if it was? What if it was? Hey, my mom was working. And your mom was working, and your dad was working, mm -hmm. and and people, and they have and other people have mom and dads that were working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were people. Like I said, people just made bad decisions. People just wanted to be fucking lazy, man. And lazy motherfuckers became fucking either drug addicts wow. or just fucking slobs. And bro, yeah, I would, hey, and the, I, hey, I get it. And there's some people that were working and tried drugs. And, and on got, this day, and on this I, day, I, I, Dynasty I, became a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be hey, right back. Call after it what these you couple wanted. Call it what you wanted, man. <laughs> <laughs> But it's back, it's you right. Right. Oh, well, you know, so you my dude, the jacket in the rain. Oh, my jacket in the cake, and my umbrella as the Yo, yo, check, what? Today it rained a lot, pools, ponds, drains, everything seemed to flow a lot, soil so soaked, so it's time to start smoking pot, flowing hot, lock barrel stock, crop growing, showing some profit, I'm like, ha! Because I'm just writing, building a verse, fighting a curse, right as black burst in my bubble, I bubble up. Double up the drugs until I'm crumbling down The muscles in a smile can't turn around a frown 
clowning like slugger on some bad summer down shit. Pass the hash around shit. Match another bowl or smoke a whole elbow. Yeah, I'm yelling, oh shit, oh so high, but I am also focused. Poet on pot, smoke copious doses. Blood pressure low, so I'm so soft spoken. So not bogus, romantic, hopeless. Cope with the stress and stretch out and showbiz. Limelight dripping off of me like rain. Good times fly by when the brain's in no pain. Rain comes down and washes it all away. Some say it's gloomy, some say it's lovely. Some would say they'd rather live where it's always sunny. But I would rather stay where the rain plays the window panes And the weeds leave it ha. It rained a lot today Shit, the freeway even flooded Phoenix, Arizona switch a fine line written down the center of society is digging a ditch too deep to crawl out of the feeling fell out we forgot all about love for ourselves for our friend for our fam defending false rights in a stolen piece of land mending mental wounds in my room with a pen in hand i stand firm planted in these desert sands anonymous to most but synonymous to greatness take this play it back twice get your taste bitch get smacked quick with a sick type language buds mac collie g Follow we as we follow all of our dreams Material things don't gleam in these eyes Wise words coming from us, no surprise City slick kids that spit and crack ribs Dip that dab on the nail and get ripped Smack dab in the middle of heaven and hell I'm leveling well These flows too stink for the state to come smell Greenhouse coming from nothing, you can't tell Two dope boys thinking outside the cell Well-rounded verses is bursting your brain cells Your heart closed the curtains for certain it's not working So wrap up your whack rap act and start working Get a real girl with a job that's not twerking This fucky generation is penetrating apocalypse Fly me to the moon and turn the station to this shit Place your lips upon my ass and give it a big kiss <laughs> He drinks a lot of soda First witness <laughs> All right, so it's time for shitty news. All right, here's a question. I uh, th- here's something I don't understand. Are we back? We, yeah, fuck it. Um, we uh, we <laughs> the clap. We, uh, we have a uh, we have a slide in for Juggalo news. We don't have a slide in for. Shitty I news. might have to correct that today. Shitty yeah, news. Well, Is it just gonna watch a piece of Duke, Park Boys? Let's just be a piece of Duke just flying out. <laughs> Shitty news. <laughs> That'd be the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pull it from that. Like so yeah. Our uh, our <laughs> first story. Yeah. Get video of somebody wiping their ass. <laughs> our first story is about the uh, German Airlines pilot that uh, deliberately crashed in France. Yeah, like, what's up with that? Man? How many how many passengers? Like hundred and forty. Oh, wow. It's like he locked out. He locked out. He locked out the the passenger. He locked okay. out the pilot and fucking. So the pilot went to go take a piss, basically. All oh. right. Oh, and the co pilot was there. That he went, he goes, Here, take over for me. <laughs> co pilot uh, uh, says, All right. Pilot goes out to use the bathroom. He locks the, the cab door and then he sets the thing Programs on an automatic descent jump. and just watches it happen. And he goes down with it? And he goes yeah. down with it. Yeah. He was a recent Islam c- convert, wasn't he? No, he is not Muslim at all. I, I read somewhere that he was recently nope. in Islam. No, convert. that's that's uh, that's fishing. Was it probably Damn. Ronald Reagan. Yeah, it was probably Ronald Reagan. <laughs> it it was Ronald. Ronald Reagan. Fucking he's, Ronald did it he's again. Dead now. Worry <laughs> about yourself, Ronald Reagan. But yeah, the question has been raised about his mental state. Wow. Obviously, but uh, there there was another thing that I heard that I haven't been able to collaborate uh, corroborate was uh, that he said before to his wife that everybody's going to know his name before he like the day before the flight went out. I haven't Sounds I haven't seen I don't know what was name. his name? Wacko. Uh 
Richie Valens. I don't and, care. I don't Andreas care. I don't Lubitz. care. Richie I really Valens. didn't care. Yeah. Apartment. Crashed yeah, into a mountain, right? Yeah, crashed into a mountain. Then it was Richie Valens flying it, wasn't it? Richie yeah. Valens. I remember that guy. <laughs> no, it was, it was a big Richie bopper. Valens fault. Sorry. Yeah, he went from 38,000 feet to 100 feet into a mountain. Damn. Wow. Ouch. That was fucking crazy. I, I, that is shitty. I mean. That yeah. is some shitty, man. And that's not a, it wasn't a terrorist thing. See, I heard the name German Wings and I immediately thought of like some like little tiny fucking itty bitty 12 passenger <laughs> Cessna. No. Like that doesn't sound like an imposing, you know, mm-hmm. large. Hey, when, I, when I picture that when you said that, I just picture an airplane with the two propellers like a little Hitler stand. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Aren't you part <laughs> German? <laughs> yes. Okay. He's also he's also all German, so he has no. So he's not going to feel bad about it. <laughs> no soul. A uh, Metro Atlanta Dollar uh, General Store is uh, facing fines in excess to eighty three thousand or eighty thousand dollars over uh, the way they treated uh, the way they kept their store. Yeah, I, they're like OSHA's after them, right? Yeah, OSHA's after them. Lazy people. They what the lazy fuck did people. they do? Like, did they just, is it just because, like, okay, I, I've been to Dollar General, and they've got some pretty old fucking food. Did they just keep, like, canned, old canned food way past the expiration date no. until it turned into, like, toxic sludge? It says uh, they continually expose their workers to hazards, blocked exits, locked exits, blocked electrical panels that have been found throughout their corporation nationwide. Uh, they have not taken the message to all their workers. And protecting them. So basically wow. what they're saying is is that they weren't teaching them to be OSHA compliant at all. And they just kind of fucked around and did whatever they wanted. Damn. Which can easily happen. And you're supposed to you're supposed to train for OSHA compliance. Yeah. I've never been OSHA. trained for OSHA. I've, I mean, I've, I've been seen training. the I've seen the 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 fucking posters in the break room. Do you already yeah. look ocean compliant? Ocean. <laughs> like, you, you float. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. Yeah. Get them in. Get them in. I'm now. sorry. I got to. I got. I got now. a couple more weeks. We'll go back to that. I got uh, three more weeks. Four more weeks. You saw the shampoo look, huh? You saw it. <laughs> it, it clicked in. You're almost down fifty pounds, right? Yeah. yeah Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty far down. Where are you at? Forty pounds. Damn. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. And uh, you you've been going out on the mountain and taking tracks yep. and shit like that. All kinds of shit. That's awesome, dude. Yep. I know we haven't been talking about it much because we were looking for significant. Yeah, no, it's, first, it's, it's a you're, you've lost like 40 pounds. That's a lot. Yeah. Being ocean compliant is pretty significant, man. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, good shit. More grapefruit. More, more grapefruit. That's what I'm about. <laughs> that grapefruit he's, life. He's got he's grapefruits in there. He's got a huge sack of grapefruits <laughs> in there. <laughs> Remy's got Remy a huge sack of grapefruits. <laughs> <laughs> he got your balls. Yeah, no, there. I've been on, I've been on that grapefruit shit, man. It's uh, they're fucking awesome. You just gotta I just gotta watch the acidity, so I only eat like two a day. So this twenty one year old, grapefruit, grapefruit? Uh, it can exacerbate it if you're in a flare. It fucking sucks. Uh, there's a lot of shit that exacerbates life. Gout. Life in but moderation. But here's the thing: is that it, it flared up again uh, a little bit this week. I still went and worked out on it. Yeah. Like, it's just and now because it's not as bad as it was, I'm gonna continue to deal with it because of the change in diet. It's just I gonna saw this thing until legit. It goes away. I was on Reddit the other day, mm-hmm. like I am every day. But I was on Reddit the other day and I saw this thing where your whole daily intake and it's not a diet; it's just. This, this stuff they have that's like, it's a shake that you make and you drink it. You can get chocolate or regular or whatever. And it's got like a whole bunch of stuff that's just supposed to give you your daily protein. Re- protein it's, it's, and, it's mostly protein. And, and, and nutrients, nutrients and minerals and uh, vitamins and all the shit that you need. So all you have to do is drink this shake three times a day for the rest of your life. Uh-huh. Instead of like eat food. Oh, you mean for gout? Or are you talking no, about no, period. Or- you can change your entire lifestyle. To just drinking these shakes. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Like a complete liquid diet. It's the yeah. same thing that they feed when you're in a coma and you're in the Down fucking to like hospital. Milkshakes. Yeah. Milkshakes all day. <laughs> milkshakes all day. <laughs> that would be weird though. I drink. I drink two milkshakes a day, guys. Let me like, tell you I'm, something. Peaks Fish and Ships milkshakes would taste kind of fucking weird. Oh what you think? No. <laughs> but here's another thing that I saw <laughs> that I'm real actually in interested in. Station, dude, all day. Just wanted to bring up that like you have been making me look at certain things. You know what I'm saying? Just you doing what you're doing. And uh, I saw this thing the other day where you can take, you have to take, you have to use, you have to use bananas, mm-hmm. 
but you can use bananas and any other fruit. And basically, it was this machine that just made frozen ice cream straight from the fruits. Oh yeah, no, it's bananas are the fucking shit. You can uh, you can just mash up bananas and put yeah. it in the freezer, and when you take it out and eat, it's the same consistency. You as can ice cream. replace them wow. for eggs <laughs> yeah. and baking. Mm-hmm. Yep, something that I learned. You can put banana in for eggs, applesauce. When too. I had it, when I had a friend that was vegan, and I was trying to cook something for him, I learned that. Mm-hmm. And so I made two separate cakes, one with eggs and yep. one without eggs. No, it's, what's, the taste, what's the taste? It no. tastes good. Yeah, there's no di- real difference. I mean, it's tastes it's good. the same as the cauliflower pizza. We used uh, we used cauliflower instead of flour. You know, nobody would ever think you wouldn't typically put those two things in anywhere the same. Um, but it's uh, there. There really isn't a difference in taste. A little bit of texture difference, but yeah. even then, yeah. it's not. Uh, I remember the last meal I got before I went on this compliant thing. Uh, I decided I really wanted a piece of chocolate cake, mm-hmm. so I'm like, I, I got some, and it was all relatively healthy. I got a roast beef sandwich, uh, some cheese, and a piece of chocolate cake. But as I'm leaving the the Walmart with my chocolate cake. I see another little chocolate cake that's like its own little itty bitty tiny chocolate cake. I was with you. I remember cake. that. Yeah, so I, I put the one. one back. I'm like, okay, well, I, just, I want this. I want this little tiny chocolate cake, not a piece of chocolate cake. So I get it home, and I'm like, man, this looks really fucking good. And they were like <laughs> the same price. So then I'm reading it, and it's a no sugar added chocolate cake. And I'm like, I would get motherfucked on my la- <laughs> the last time I'm trying to eat not healthy because I know I'm about to be in some shit. Um, and it was actually better than, than any so chocolate better. cake that I'd ever tasted. Mm-hmm. It was really good. You didn't even taste whatever they used to sweeten it with. And there wasn't any artificial sweetener in sure. it. Whatever they did, it was like, man, this is fucking bomb. Like, Stuff why I haven't was. I been eating this my whole life? Damn, we went from uh, shitty news to, like, delightfully <laughs> delicious news. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> delightfully delicious. Well, let's change that. <laughs> well, <laughs> let, you know what? Let's go from delightfully dis- delicious news back into shitty news with this. <laughs> From Shitty Time news. Magazine, th- from Time.com, this woman didn't get any bacon on her burger, so she shot up the drive-thru. I'd have done it. <laughs> they're get saying, look, they're bacon. reporting They're reporting that it's a woman, okay, just because I have breasts. <laughs> and you were wearing the wig on. I was, no, I didn't even have That's the wig the on. Just my hair was naturally beautiful like it is right now. And apparently. And, and I, look, here, when all you can have, all right, is the meat, okay, because I can't eat the bread. So right. when I order bacon on my sandwich, I want that fucking bacon. Hell yeah. What they didn't report is that I went all the way home and then checked. That's what I was the most upset about is I went all the way. I was really mad at myself, but I don't know how to exercise that kind of emotion. So I just shot it up. Fuck them. Uh, she, was convicted of, she was convicted of multiple charges Wednesday for firing a bullet in the McDonald's drive-thru when the staff forgot to put bacon on her cheeseburger. Uh, Spooky. <laughs> and I'm out. Spooky apparently was calling, and out. was calling himself Shanika Monique Torres. <laughs> Shanika, you were not that's, supposed that's to pay my, now. my fucking name. You were not supposed to put me on blast Ordered like that, Ordered a bacon bro. cheeseburger at the McDonald's. Uh, and and arrived without bacon. She and complained what? to a manager. So she got a manager. She tried to do everything right. Yeah. She was offered a free burger. And I'm not just, irrational. She just wasn't happening. No, they probably didn't want. put bacon on the new burger, dude. She's just bacon. like, oh, She fuck returned it. to order another bacon cheeseburger. This burger you know what? also came without bacon. <laughs> so she went so, twice. I get and that. And she's like, fuck that. And she started pulling her hand. I get that. Oh. They used to have this sandwich at Jack in the Box. Bacon. That bacon lawyer on TV. He there's should, a bacon lawyer. The bacon lawyer. He should get. He should get. He should get. He should get that job. Is man. there a bacon? There's a bacon lawyer. Yeah, you didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yet. He That's does. He does declare that that bacon is not too much bacon on the pizza bacon. That's fantastic. <laughs> I, there was this. There was a sandwich. <laughs> That's fucked up. There was a sandwich that Jack in the Box had that was like a fried chicken patty with nacho cheese sauce on it, and then they would put jalapenos on it too, right? Yeah. You're Which is horrible. Yeah. Food. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, there's nothing. But I remember one time I went through the drive-thru with the one right down the street from here. This was seven, eight years ago when they when they had these sandwiches. And they fucked it up. They put jalapenos on it. I'm like, no jalapenos. I, t- I just tell people when I was picky eating and eating fat kid style, I'd just be like, I'm allergic. Like, don't put lettuce on my taco. Yep. I'm allergic. You yep. just tell them you're allergic, and they don't. You know what I mean? They don't like, forget. don't fuck around. Well, no, it's not even that they don't forget. It's just that they don't get 
they they go, oh, well, I don't want to kill somebody, so they're more right. mindful. <laughs> they're more mindful. Yeah, they're true. not gonna. So they That's put. A great idea, uh, dude. Yeah. I got yeah. I got shit for days, bro. <laughs> order your salt. Order your your fries without salt, so they got to make you a brand new batch, and they get some salt in the bag. You so know they teach fries. you shit like that on the internet all the time. Shit. There's this whole subreddit called the uh, Life Pro Tip, Life Pro Tips, and one of the things that I learned that I sh- that he actually already knew, or either I showed or whatever, was if you go to Chipotle, Chipotle. and you want double meat, wait until they put the first, the first scoop, scoop of meat on, on before you then, ask for double said, meat. Like a second because they already, already they've already, already committed, committed to the size, size of your yeah. scoop. They've already committed yeah. to the size of your scoop, Instead of so, just like, so they can't yeah. half-ass it and do, give you two little That's fucking okay. three-quarter scoops. Yeah. I might do you that go to Filiberto's, you ask for the carrots after you've paid. The carrots are free. No, the carrots are free anyway. I'm just aren't they? I don't, I don't, uh, spicy I don't, I don't eat those don't carrots. <laughs> but back to the Jack in the Box <laughs> story. The they fucked my sandwich up, so I brought it back, and I'm like, hey, guys, look, I'm allergic to jalapenos. Can you make this the right way? So they, I gave it to them, and they sent, they gave it back to me, and it, it, all they had done was just pick the fucking jalapenos out. So it was jalapeno That's no good juice. if you're really So allergic. I was like, look, dude, I'm allergic to jalapenos. Do you smell jalapeno? Because I smell jalapeno. So I gave it back to them. When they fucking gave it back to me, it was frozen. They gave me a frozen chicken patty. They didn't even bother to fucking drop it in the fryer or nothing. So I swear to God, I almost got arrested. Like, so that I day. shot the place up. So no, so I took it. I I had it open in my hand, and the fucking dude that had taken my order was standing like back towards the drive-through area. And I, I just fucking it whipped it at him. I whipped it at him, and it spread apart and splattered cheese everywhere. And I, it might have hit him. I don't know because I took the fuck off. And you were like, but I was like, I can understand if I if you fuck my shit up and I send it back to you and you. You bring it back to me fucked up again, I'm fucking somebody up. <laughs> I don't That's play crazy. that shit. Fucking serious about my I don't food. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that I get mad about. If he mad, had more initiative, he'd be in jail. <laughs> Swear to God. If he was just a tinge, it's a good thing. If he was just a tinge less lazy, he'd be in jail right now. <laughs> All right, so uh, a teenager is described to authorities how her mother killed two of her siblings and forced her to put one of the bodies into the freezer at their Michigan home. Fuck that. Wow. So the mother allegedly, uh, uh, Michelle Blair, 35, allegedly, uh, subjected her her nine-year-old son, uh, Stephen Berry, to torture for around two weeks before he died in August 2002. Uh, the woman's surviving daughter told child welfare workers. Uh, then she was forced to put her uh, his his body into a freezer. Crazy. She's dead daughter. now. Her mom's dead. No, no she's the, in jail. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. The, gotcha. Babe, the boy. You said her surviving daughter. Oh, because she killed her fucking other kid. I yeah, get it now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That's what fucking crazy. Yeah, what what did that kid so do far, to get man. tortured? He's like, I'm down, bro. So I'm down. down. <laughs> Yeah, we weren't fucking around about shitty news, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know all this talk like, about food. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and now you got yeah. fucking people in freezers. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Foodie <laughs> shit, shitty food news. <laughs> it's good food, shitty topics. Uh, funnily enough, this actually is the last one, and it ties right into it. Uh, this dad thinks that got thought he had a stroke after accidentally eating one of his daughter's pot brownies. <laughs> <laughs> so good, dude. That's fucking great news. You guys remember the cop? The cop that Shitty ate for the, the pot brownies. Yeah, the nine one one. They had the nine one one. The cop that called nine one one. He's like, I'm, I'm dead. I, I think oh, we're dying. I'm dead. We're it's dead. Like, yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, him and his wife. We ate pot brownies. Honey, you just eat a steak or a cheeseburger. You'll be fine. A father in Michigan called nine one one after mistakenly eating several pot brownies. His daughter had baked the night before. He said he thought he was having a stroke. Firefighters and policemen <laughs> responded to the call, at which point the officials say the man's 17 year old daughter needed to put in the uh, ingredient in the baked goods. Uh, the father was taken to the hospital, but has since been released and is in good health. Well, I guess she made it right then. Yeah. yeah no, that's the thing. I, I fuck with edibles a lot. And, yeah. and man, I'm telling you, I could imagine being like stroked the fuck before out before everything was medi- uh, uh, medicinally, medicinally legally legal legally, legally. Every, before everything was medicinally legal here uh, the only pot brownies that I ate were not done right they were grinded up oh, oh no no they were yeah, even they, they, grinded, the they grinded up the uh, 
the weed and put it in there. Now, yeah, I just love to that's know. Uh, I, and I've seen people do that with the it's cookies. Ridiculous. I had chocolate chip cookies. I was like, man, this tastes like barbecue. They're like, oh, it's gritty. It. it makes it You're gritty. It makes retarded. it really gritty. Yeah. Here's the thing. Okay, so I had a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened, obviously. Uh, the next day, this is when I'm working for like this place that actually has like key cards to get in, mm -hmm. and they have you have to smoke in a special area and like super high like tech fucking security shit and all that <laughs> stuff. This is where I was working, and uh, I went to take a shit in the bathroom, and when I took a shit, it smelled like weed. It smelled like weed. It made the entire <laughs> bathroom smell like weed, and I was freaking out. I was like, "Oh my god!" So I was gonna come in here, think I'm smoking pot you know what in you here. Done? You should have done. You should have done. You should have smoked a cigarette. Right there in the, yeah, in the they like they smell tobacco yeah. instead of weed. That's what I should have done. Yeah, or at have. least ate a tobacco and ate a tobacco. <laughs> ate ate some tobacco and then shit it out. Yep. Immediately just after just eating it. Because that's how I, it works. I have some man. I, I, ate, I, ate fucking, I ate a fucking I ate a half a <laughs> yeah. I ate a half a cowboy cookie once and for like six hours I talked like this. <laughs> like, I just I had uh, I was stroked out. Like, <laughs> guys, like Jim Ross. It's it's so bad. I got I got my mom like the chick got the the, the guy man. Oh, no, I oh, man. in this in there in the uh, fridge right? Yeah, the, just, the, let, just, just left him in the fridge. We made him, left him. Me and my man. Did that happen a long time ago or uh, recently? No, yeah, this was a long time ago. Oh, okay, years, time years. Ago. Okay, I did that to yeah. my mom wow. pretty recently. <laughs> pretty recently. <laughs> but I meant to do it. Yeah, that bitch needs to chill the fuck out. Mom did it to me. I got her something. <laughs> she was eating chunks off of it, and she was like, nothing's happening. And I was like, well, you need to eat more of it. <laughs> Obviously. That's the great thing about, that's the great thing about, about uh, the yeah, edibles, man, is that can't. they fucking take forever yeah, to hit. But when they do, blitz. Yeah. And then I got her another one that was a white, like a cookies and cream bar. And then yeah. she ate both of those. I went, I went and did something. No, this is like after. Like she had ate that whole one, nothing happened. And so she had a week another later, one. Oh, I got okay. another one for her. And I went off and did some, stayed the night, came back home. She had called me, and she's like, holy fuck. <laughs> but she knew it had pot in it. Yeah, she Then knew. you didn't do the same but, thing. Sort of, but she ate, like, <laughs> the whole fucking thing. Fuck. She and then down one of the She didn't even, like, walk. She said she was, like, feeling the walls and shit. Yeah. No, my, they, my they don't fuck you up like that. Sleepy. She was doing laundry, and she was like... Right, we were just watching. We were sitting there watching TV. She's like, I don't know why I feel so tired. And we're just like oh, fucking man. laughing. Uh, His mom is like this <laughs> sweet little old lady too, which is what makes it great. Yeah. She's like, Oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything freak around. He's all I, like, I, I let it. I let a couple of days go by, and then I was like, Remember those brownies you ate? I was like, There was some wheat in one. She was like, I was wondering why I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> You know the cure for that? <laughs> Fried chicken and fucking right. Gatorade. Right. All kinds of munchy shit. shit my mom is a bunch seven, of stuff that don't match. Chicken noodle soup. Eat a bunch of stuff that doesn't match. <laughs> yeah. That's how one, you cure that. One out of each section of the of the menu. Doritos, <laughs> cereal. Uh, guys, thanks for coming. Doritos, uh, and, 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 uh, what do you guys got coming up? Any plugs you want to get in before we go? Um... I guess if you want to listen to any music or anything, you can find us on SoundCloud. Um, YouTube. I mean, if you like music. If you don't you like, music, like music, then whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like it, then fuck it. But uh, <laughs> if you want to check it out. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. on YouTube. Um, we're on dropping YouTube, a new YouTube, album here just, pretty. Uh, yeah, we're working on an album. It's going to be all samples from, like, fucking... Classic, like it's old school, song. yeah. That's dope. Keeping it funky, like, uh, you know, like... Super disco. I love deconstructive kind of projects like that. Those yeah, are yeah, yeah. Since I, I'm super into old music and shit, so I'm always sending him. Where can where do they go? Where what do they search to find you guys? Um, the greenhouse A Z on SoundCloud okay. or like on YouTube it's just my name, Buds Backus. Okay. A C K U S. Um, All right. Well, I got I got shit got on SoundCloud. I got uh, stuff on SoundCloud.com slash Nibot Music. And uh, that's N I B O T music. Oh, yeah, and then beats I got, for days. Yeah, I, I, I throw up our shit on there yeah, until we get our album there. together. And then uh, I got I got a Facebook and shit. If you want to check it out, check out my shit yeah. on there. <laughs> right right Facebook.com yeah. slash the real Nybot. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. There's a bunch I mean, of stuff on. Yeah, there. you guys are yeah, making he's chill, got, man. He's got, chill. Ton, yeah. he's got a ton of music you can check out. Yeah, right on, right on. Yeah, no, you guys have been great. We really appreciate y'all being on. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot. For having us. Yeah, thanks uh, for having us. Out. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah, it's uh, been a good time. 
It's Remy in the booth. Hey. It's Die Nasty right here. Spooky Z. Taco. Greenhouse Project. We're out here. Slate. Later, Holmes. Ew. Damn. Obesity. OBCD. I'm intoxicated lately. I've been counting down to Friday, drinking on a Monday, getting high on a Sunday. The days all blur together. Some come up and go down one way. Been working for a goal that'll probably score someday. But now it's just a drink in my hands. I'm thinking again with all my friends. Lighting freestyle and scribbles and dollar bills from the ink in my pen. They dreams of Cadillacs, Maseratis, Lincolns parked in the sand. I don't give a damn. These chicks don't even know the name of the band. Put the palms up and walk through the drunken valley land. Waiting, standing in line just to show that you were fans. Come backstage and script the page. Make a couple of plans. Telling me how you do that with no hands. God damn. Still stays the same. Vision only change. Counting down the days to get the bullshit off my brain. Still stays the same. We settle for the grind, we pedal to certain metal This cold steel flow, we opened it to embezzle your mind The times are certainly bound to travel yeah. He's sitting up there as though nothing's bothering him He's wheeling around in his little chair with a grin But oh no no, don't let him snow you He's lost after all of A different side of me, controlling the way I breathe The peace is how I see, releasing this energy Giving you a feeling consistent as symmetry Yeah, we aim to please, these dreams are what we keep Looking for a reason, but the reason's overseen We seemingly broke the street A skillful lyricism overpowering the weak So what? We burn green We're confident enough to break the trust between your team So HP speaks, you best to break it down and kill the beat and make it clean I'll play you with words Till my pa, sister, brother, John, Paul, Ringo, and George Get disturbed when I'm heard lyrically Spreading my season and speaking I need no reason, let's shoot this shit Roll up some cannabis and suits that fit slightly Kali G reminded me to write before recession Go ahead and question my inconsistent message Alcoholic presence, learn a lesson, kids Make up your own minds Why the hell we lay them dope lines While sipping on a coke and make us mark picture I sold my soul to the whiskey militia Outside of Rosedale, Mississippi And realistically, it's the devil I blame My music stays strange through thinking swag is the only thing that is really cool and hey, yo what happened to the lyrics what happened to the spirit oh yeah mainstream the poppycock is blue it i want to be krs spitting the knowledge you ain't gotta go to college to get a job and be really balling free falling like petty let me know when you're ready to be better than the man with the medicine healing the soul of hip-hop heads whether young or old i'm resurrecting the dead yeah Go homes, don't hold it, better pay.
past those silos Roller cone the size of those Rolling stones and vapory Beside the mic and cables we Transduce the roots through Chilling in the cold at night Referencing the juice crew Filling it up to the top of my cup Intoxicated and loose now Paper stack I'm gon' lose now Fade to black and lose memories Every time I tip one back now uh. Couch cushions always pushing my patience as I've been waiting, procrastinating for 21 ages. Peeling it back and revealing the layers. A sayer of rhymes, the cave is my layer. I'm laying lines, tracks, the roads, the maps we cross for shows, the hoes we might get, new clothes, a new whip. Afford to rock the flyers, but I'm comfortable in the slips. I could get the baddest bitch, but brought along my ex chick just to get a better one. I seen it in the movie once, I'm groovy. Sun. Lucy screws inside my cranium Smoking Lucy's with a bum Mumble drooling rum Stumble down the street Porter growler on the thumb Creature of habit Inhabit a habitat Bloody red eyes Cold clouded with cataracts Killing in my past life Swinging the battle axe Buds back it's Arizona soul Cause a racket get known That's the goal Yo Yes, yes. Start to sway some with a full plate gun under this liquor that I'm not chasing. When I'm just trying to wax on or wax off with the lights on at night or blinds cracked at day, just attempted to tentatively tempt and pleasure you. In a few minutes, we be in it. If it's intimate, you catch your feelings will be imminent. Funny how love sounds like an STD, isn't it? When in doubt, just pull it out and hope you didn't finish it. Cause if you was first, then you then not left over. Chop liver, not even worth a minute since. The seven circles of hell that a woman can send you in. And you let you spin, but not like the earth. I fight for my work. If it's slide to survive, well, I'd rather die than chirp. For what it's worth before I hit the dirt. I'd rather cruise to an old cloud cabin Fly to remote islands, no sleep, jet lagging Staying high all the time Up at night on a red eye That's a flight headed nowhere And I'm running out of fuel That's a flight headed Arizona Juggalos Podcast.